and we are live at the Bankstown uh, Indoor Sports Centre, also known as the Layout, the Basketball Stadium, whatever you want to call it. it the is Mecca. <laughs> the Mecca of basketball for New South Wales at the moment here in Sutherland Stadium as well. Uh, we have a great game on our hands here, the semi-final of the youth men's competition. We've got the Hills Hornets taking on the Central Coast Crusaders, Garen, the crew. the crew. As they like to say down in Central Coast, we were able to visit Central Coast a couple weekends ago and visit the beautiful scenery they had to offer. Not only that, they've got a great basketball program and they're taking on display here against the Hills Hornets. And as we look at the matchups, James, who do we have for the Hills Hornets coming from their hive to the Bankstown Bruins Stadium? The Hills Hornets, we've got number four, Saxon Orsini, number five, Josh Gillen, number six, Josh Morgan, the Josh and Josh show, not the Dragon Josh show. Number seven, Alec Ryan. Number eight, Ethan Moss. Number nine, the sharp shooter, Jamie Munro. Woo. Number 10, Jarrett Wilson. He was in the All-Star 5. Number 11, the ever-consistent Joe Patmore. Number 12, the hyper-athletic Juan Iguada. Number 13, Keanu Gearing. Number 14 as well, back-to-back All-Star lineups for him. It's Mitch Smith. And 15 is Pat Nicholson. Wow. Their head coach is Terrence Johnson. Garen, who we got for the crew? The crew at number one, Dylan T, my favorite cup of tea. Yeah. Isaiah Walter, William Mogg at number four, Alex Bailey at five, Hudson Bush. At six, Isaac Wooler, you know what he can do. At seven, Jamal Schwab. Yeah. Also, Seth Chapman at number eight, Hayden Gunderson at number 10, Luke Dunlop, and yeah, his tires are never busting out. 14, Michaela Mortis, 15, Cody Wills. Head coach, Chris Orbach. Assistant coach Nathan Akamori uh, and uh, manager Kieran, uh, Kieran Osborne. Apologies on the mispronunciations. And your official basketball of today is, yes, Spalding. Your sponsors, your partners. Yeah, we'll for see your who Wonka wins league. the tip off. Out there jumping for it. We've got Cody Wells and Juan Iguada. Garen, we know uh, they, this team, whoever wins in this, will go on to face in the Maitland Mustangs in the grand final of the Youth League 2023. The crew control at Schwab. Another one of those players. In the All-Star 5, the crew are stacked, Garen, but this still seems great as well. Keep an eye out for Bailey, number five. Well, what a matchup we have on our hands, folks, and what a game. The handsy defense leads to a steal early on. Yeah, Mitch Smith, the UCID product, swinging the ball around. Hills Hornets, Jarrett Wilson, keep an eye for his sharp shooting tonight. This Hills team, very deep, though. There's Jamie Monroe, who does he find? Finding the shooter, Ethan Moss. Driving in all the way, Ethan Moss. Rebound. Oh, Mossy. So scanning the floor now. The Crusaders looking to get into their sets early on in this game. That's into Wells. Wells banging in the paint. Throws up the little baby hook. And Guada secures that rebound. Kickerheads now. Smith. Wilson. Ooh, no contact, says the referee. Handsy defense. Leading to a steal. Pushing it in transition for your Central Coast Crusaders. And uh, a bit handsy on defense there. So early on in these semifinals, in any finals game really, there's a lot of teams feeling each other out. It's yep. got a little more energy, a little more, a little more grit to it. Jarrett Wilson picking up the first foul there. And good to see, be aggressive is Alex Bailey for your Crusaders. As always, Alex Bailey, was league MVP. Oh no, sorry, Billy Parsons was. But uh, Alex Bailey in the uh, All-Star 5 leading scorer. There you go. There you go. So and trying to probe his way around the basket. Finds the cutter out of bounds. Deflected by Hills Hornets. Yeah, Wooler. So Wooler was defensive player of the year in this youth league competition. But offensively, got to watch for the slashing. Isaac Wooler um, can get to the basket in absolutely there no time the at all. Box set up for your Central Crest Crusaders. What do they run? Keeping it simple. The screen action. Waller on the pull up Ooh. and blocks. Return to sender. Reads it. Like Jamie Monroe. Not Arbor. just a shooter. Aya. Huh. Takes one to no one. Hey, sending that one back. Well, read the timing on the shot clock. And knew he had to shoot it. And the long arms spreading out, reaching and blocking. Yeah, got a few birds stuck in the roof here at the, the base basketball stadium. There you go, as he tries to, yeah, penetrate inside. Munro backing him down, ooh, goes cycle. to the fade, and ooh, ooh, the swirls in and out. Unlucky there from Wilson, cutting, slashing. Isaac Wooler, we called it, ladies and gentlemen. He's a slasher. Like a bull in the china shop in transition, going all the way in transition. Oh, and the Off float the game is good by Jamie Munro. Oh, wow. 
One of the leading scorers for this Hills team. He's That's a be tough very shot dangerous. in transition, yeah. Ooh, Wooler looking to trade baskets here, but that one's just a front ring. Cleaning that one up, Wilson. Ooh, frenetic pace here so far. Juan Iguada just holding it up now. Mitch Couple Smith, crossovers. a dynamic forward. One, two step. Referee says contact. Great move there. Good assertiveness and good energy by Mitch Smith at the line for two. For your Hills Hornets. And how about the crowd, Garen? Wow. Plenty of um, Hills and Crusaders supporters in the building. Fired up indeed. All the grey hoodies of the Hornets. And then you've got the crew. Go check out their merch. The red That's hoodies. Some of the best. Yeah. Yeah, show your team spirit. And of course, I want to pick up a Spalding ball as well. Mitch Smith. Ball in hand now on the free throw line. NBL 1 talent as well as in Youth League. Mitch Smith, great player. Just looking to bust up the trap here. Hudson Bush eventually goes on one up to Wooler. Oh, and uh, call on the floor. Oh, call that one pushing, I think. Yeah, Maitland trying to plead their case in Isaac Wooler, but play by the rules. Your official sponsors. Yes, your official sponsors of your Waratah League in this weekend. So Mossy looking to set up the offense. So we know what's at stake here, Garen. We already have the Maitland Mustangs through to the grand final. We'll see who meets them. Oh, trying to be aggressive and assertive. Monroe on the baseline. Oh, picking that one that off. Pass in Push. transition. Over to Bailey now. Bailey, the little flotation device. Bounces that one's out. Off. Fighting for it. Contact. Wow. Yeah. All over it again. Previously, we had the Manly Ring of Seagulls and the Maitland Mustangs. Similar energy in this game, James. Full court pressure, full court action forcing point guards to make uh, quick decisions. Yeah, full-on basketball. You can see why these two teams are in the final four. I know it's a bit cliche, Garen, but two of the best teams during the regular season. Exactly where you thought that would be. The midi from Wells. Ooh, bounces out. The rebound to Jamie Munro. Kick ahead. And Mitch Smith trying to use brute force to get to the cup. They're going to call that one on Wells. And a smart kick ahead by Munro. Had the slight numerical advantage. Made the right read. Wooshka, good play at the free throw line for two. Yeah, wasting no time. As I was saying a little earlier, Garen, both these teams are very deep, so they're not afraid to um, go out there and play with a high-octane brand of basketball. Mitch Smith was saying a little earlier, Garen, as well. Played uh, UBL for UCID this year, and uh, there you go. on fire. Almost made it through all the way through One to the championship. One of your sponsors, University of Sydney. And speaking of high-octane basketball, it's game day. None other than today's game day. Yeah. Keeping on top of everything game day and otherwise. Great for scouting as well. Really helped us throughout the week game day. I got stats going all the way back to 2007, so check it out. There you go. Crusaders. Wells. Scoot pass into Wooler. Wooler wanted to foul there, but... Had a poke yeah. at the bear. Pokes yeah. it out of bounds. Yeah, I think... Playing the case. Didn't succeed. Yeah, I think Monroe was really? just trying to give him a high five. Yeah. Valid. So nine seconds left on the shot clock. Slithering through Alex Bailey. Got to keep the an eye out on work. him. Finds the shooter, Hudson Bush. Oh, and Hudson Bush. Bang, bang from huh. the corner. With the Bush administration. Yeah, in for burning, a second term. Burning some bushes in the corner, James. Wow. From deep. Yeah, well, Juan Iguada. He wouldn't be surprised to see him getting more of a role in NBL 1 next year as he bullies his way to the basket and kisses that one off the glass. Bit of English, Garrett, as you like to say. Bully ball. Zero second decisions on that. Mm. Indecisive, quick move. That's what you want to see these players play at. Yeah, and very similar pace and energy to the semi final we just watched. I think you caught it best. High octane basketball. That's what you want to see. Oh, yeah, kicking that one. But at a controlled level, I guess. Yeah, high integral energy here. Sponsor of. Uh, Bankstown Bruins. So thanks to the Bankstown Bruins for hosting uh, what well, has been a wonderful weekend already. Hand off action, Schwab. That one just off, but Wells fighting oh, for the rebound. Wonderful. Ends up with Moss, the Mossy Bop. So looking to set up the offense, Jamie Munro. Now with Ethan Moss. Oh, the jab step, the Ooh. spin cycle, and the Mitch offensive. Smith. Foul. Just dropping the shoulder. But, uh, Hasn't got the memo. Shoulder charges are outlawed in basketball and rugby league. And that was Rise Broman, your official 
On the call there, and shout out to the officials again, doing an outstanding so job all weekend long. Checking into the game for the crew, uh, got Seth Chapman. Uh, Cody Wells is going to take a well-earned break. Yeah, yep. absolutely, and well-earned break. Um, and shout out to the managers that do a great job providing the waters. Well, uh, sets the screen. For the players that need a well-earned break. Oh, yeah. Always stay hydrated out there. It's starting to get hot in Sydney, ladies and gentlemen. Summer's just around the corner. Men's basketball season's wrapping up. He's in the semi-final in our hands. And now Zach Wooler in the post, pivoting. The spin cycle, the high glass are off back rim. In Moss. transition, giddy up Moss. All the way, contact. Referee signals, two free throws. Yeah. Some point guards that are quick like that can get away with it, can find their way around the basket and draw contact. As subs checking in. For your Central Coast Crusaders, Isaac Walter. Isaiah no, Walter. Sorry, Isaiah Walter. My apologies for yeah, that. Yeah, the Wooler. I remember this during MVL one season. The Wooler Walter is like that. Isaac it's a tongue twister. Oh, man. Even screwing up yourself here, mate. Huh. I've been crossed over. My, my ankles are broken. At the free throw line for two is Moss. Uh, just doing his best uh, Liam Moss impersonation. Ethan Moss. They're related. Shout out to Liam Moss if you're watching. Again, one of the best barbers in Sydney. At the line for his second. Yeah, had a great season in NBL 1 as well. And rattles uh, out. Yeah, referee rattles out. signals jump ball. Um, yeah, that maybe a little bit of confusion out there. So Hills mm, will retain interesting possession. Ball, yeah, jump ball. Was it because he stepped early? I just don't understand why the jump ball. Anyways. Yeah, so Moss... On the ball up on the wing, finds Guada. So Mitch Smith in the post. Really three-level scorer, Mitch Smith. And a great Guada. three on three player as well. If you want to play three on three now, got a three and three hustle. Dot com dot au. Oh, Wilson. the late shot clock heave. Unable to get it. Had to rush it. In transition. Walter now. Swift crossover, but pulls it back out. Finds his point guard. Devon Schwab. Just looking to set up the offense. Tight dribble by the All-Star 5. Ooh, on the baseline, trying to find a shooter on a kick out, out of bounds. Leading to Hill's ball, a very low scoring first quarter, and that is due to the defensive nature of the game and the play style this, this, this game started with. Just Checking trying to crack open the lid. In for Hills, we've got Saxon Orsini as well as Josh Morgan. So heading to the bench, Ethan Moss and Jamie Munro. There you go, there you go, there you go. Sponsored yeah. by Unity Bank, your bank at work. With the ball here, Hills. Holding ball up, Orsini. Looking for options inside, but keeps swinging around the perimeter. Juan Iguara, can he get aggressive? On the kick out, finds a shooter. The oh, Orsini board. fighting for it. That one ends up back with Hills. The O-board, the Remo. Maybe watch the technique the a little bit, yeah. Yeah, but don't sweat the technique with Jarrett Wilson. He's a pure shooter. In transition, the cross, the spin. Oh, finding the, the cutter. cutter. Wow, take a slice of that pizza and eat it while you're at it. Keep it warm. Guada sights out the defenders. Walter thought he got the block from behind, but Guada managing to absorb the contact. He'll head to the free throw line. What a good slice cut there, just in transition. And then the unselfish play, finding him. And then now on the other end, you've got Juan Iguada trading baskets. Now this is the momentum we expected in the Youth League matchup. Plays trading baskets and high-intensity, high pace game. Yeah, Isaac Wooler just slashing. What's, we said it. We said it earlier in the game, Garen. You've got to keep an eye on him. Yeah, a firm eye because you, 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 he catches you sleeping and he's at the free throw line or he's scoring or he's, he's creating space. There we go. Wani gets the second one to drop as well. All tied up, 7-7. Seven, seven. There you go. Even Stevens. Walter. Huh. I mean equal Stevens. Ah, equal, sorry. Oh, no, we're actual commentators. Spin so cycle, in the corner, Walla. Kicks it out in the corner. Oh, and skying for that rebound. We'll see any now over to Guada. They're really running the break well. The Hills Hornets and almost get rewarded. Mitch Smith, unlucky to have that one roll out. Well, he, he was able to turn left. Yes, turn left. Your distribution partners and your sponsors of the Waratah League Finals. Checking in uh, for your Central Coast Crusaders. Yeah, checking back in. Jarrett Wilson. And Hayden Gunderson. Um, Alex so good to see Hayden Gunderson checking in for your crew. Oh, sorry. Get my teams mixed up there. My mistake. First one chance. rattles in for the Hornets. It's been a long day of basketball. The sun hasn't even gone down yet. 
for Mitch Smith looking at to put these free throws down and, and gets Smith it. Hold that follow through. Birth. Yeah, nice. Oh, and huh. the energy from Ossini. Ooh, almost trying to get a two back. for one deal. Saxon Ossini. How about Hansi? Momentum play is paying off. Wow. Yeah. My type of player, Garen, has only has one gear. And love these new jackets for the Hills Hornets too. The coach is rocking the green, black, and white as opposed to having the predominant red on some of the older jackets. You know, as far as saying, the Hornets have like one of the best branding and marketing departments in basketball in New South Wales. Yeah, there's a lot out there. A lot of them have great uniform and jersey designs. Yes, great in their own rights. And yeah, new um, Central Coast with the ball here. Yeah. The crew looking to set it up. Wooler on the wing. What about the skip pass that just gives it back now? Walter. Ooh, the quick That's trigger, deep the three. deep one. Yeah, so Bailey can connect on that one. Now off and running. Uh, throws up one Iguata, Iguata, splats it off the backboard. Out of bounds. They are hype. Ooh, Jared, what is Wilson. Ooh. Wilson. Wow. Passed away. Yeah. Wow, and that ball did cast Swatted away yeah, into the into the baseline grandstand. Put his bloody palm on that one, Garrett. Read, read that like a book on a Sunday, Arvo. Jeez, what momentum plays have led to this timeout. Well, that was a great block. And speaking of a Sunday afternoon, Garrett, the grand final tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Who will be going on to face the Maitland Mustangs? So far, it's almost impossible to pick. I wouldn't want to be betting on this game. I wouldn't want to be betting at all. It's a bit of a waste of money anyway. So, for the Hills Hornets, good start, especially defensively. Not just because of that block, but um, really been suffocating some of the Crusaders' better scorers. Meanwhile, for the Crusaders, Garen, offensively, what do you think they need to do? That last block, yeah, I agree with you. That last block there was sponsored by Allied Express. Specialized yeah, logistics. <laughs> answer the question. To get back to your question. <laughs> Central Coast Crusaders, come Central on. Coast Crusaders really, on. No, Central Coast Crusaders really need to emphasize that, hey, we're a quick team. We can really push it in transition. Zero seconds. Um, yeah, play through handoffs. Baskets. Yeah, you try to play through that high post. Yeah, like James likes to call it, cheap baskets. And when you do, get to the free throw line. But yes, that last block was sponsored by Allied Express, your specialized logistical partner. Mm. Yeah, what a logistical effort it is to put this whole weekend together. But it's good. It's Christmas time in, bas in the basketball world. Wow, this game's delivering already. So don't go anywhere. Pressing action from the Hills Hornets. They really want to push the tempo, try to put the Crusaders out of their rhythm. Whips it ahead, Stupid finally Waller. gets it over the court. Yeah. Walter, back to Bailey. Can't be too casual with it against the Hornets. Spotting up and... Ooh, back rim. Ooh, going for the rebound. Skying there, but almost ends up. Bodies on the floor. And that ends up back with the Crusaders. So the crew... Doing it by committee. Kicking it back out. Wooler can shoot. Spotting up this time. Sizing up. Oh, yeah. Gets it to go. The back pedal. I told Beautiful you. Beautiful looking he can shot. shoot. I told you. He can. Is no one listening? Coach gave him his license a few weeks ago. A few, few seasons ago. Yeah. Licence to thrill and kill. Guada. Swinging across. Orsini. That one's off front ring. Don't mind that shot, though. Saxon is a great shooter. Oh, and running the lanes, Wooler. Oh, and drawing the foul, Garen, you were saying in that little timeout just before, need to look to push the pace. You're just making that up. Pace Paying and off. space. Um, and Coach really emphasizes that. When you've got guys that can really run the floor, young athletes, especially lengthy athletes that can push the floor, like I, uh, Isaiah Walter, um, players like Hayden Gunderson coming off your bench, spark plug, energy player. Yeah, and They're building different in Central Coast games. <laughs> yeah, on the line now, Gunderson. I mean, we are just saying this earlier today, commentating the women's matchup. Central Coast Crusaders have become one of the uh, best youth development programs in New South Wales. Some serious talent coming through, and that shows both teams making the semis this year. Well, a lot of credit goes to Mika Von Lures and the effort he's done and the players he's able to scout. Ooh, Ooh. almost at the turnover. Our referee signals wrong sport. Yeah, he just said, Football yeah, violation. World Cup's over. It was a week ago. Because yeah. the Basketball World Cup's going on at the moment. You can catch all those games on KO Freebies. You may, as the Boomers beat Finland last night. Yeah, damn right. Shout out to the Boomers and shout out to the squad as we got Hills with the ball here. 217, 11 apiece, 11-11. For you superstitious people out there. 
Orsini gliding to the ring and scoops that one in, Garen. That was a, uh, I'd say, hokey pokey scoop. The hokey jerky move. In transition now, Central Coast. Nice flavor. Yeah, a bit underrated. Also, red to find Alex Bailey. It. And does so. Putting his body, body on the body line. Around. Somebody get wow. a tail out there. Central Coast. The slip and slide. Oh, oh Garrett. The intensity, the full court pressure, the determination, the poise, the will, the fight, the grit, the hunger. It's all on display here, folks. Come check it out at the Bankstown Bourne Stadium. Showing that Jamboree mentality. Both teams trying to control the action here. A lot of slip and slide everywhere. Oh, the seal gets it to go. What a seal. What a play. Seth huh. Chapman opens his account for the afternoon in the semi-final. We're all tied up with nowhere to go. 13 apiece. Yeah, that little push-off gets the seal, catches it. Brilliant. Brilliant. Brilliant play. Oh, and Guada trying to fight through the contact, but they're going to call it. A charge? No, referee. Ooh. Okay, so different call. So, yeah. The clarification I mean, is offensive contact. Offensive foul. Central Coast ball, James. Interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a bit both ways. So one minute, uh, just over one minute 30 to go in this first quarter. Fouls at five apiece. Scores at 13 apiece. Everything's equal, equal, equal. Yeah. Equal I Stevens. Guess. Yeah. No, nah, yeah. doesn't sound right. Central Coast with the ball. Holding up. Walter kicks in high post action. Uh, oh, but that one's stripped off. Kicking ahead. Orsini. Oh, the speed demon. I told, I told you, Garen. Saxon Orsini's only got one gear. That's high. High gears. I don't know, I don't know how gears work. I don't, I don't drive. I, 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 I couldn't tell you, but it's been intense, intense. Um, when you catch it, not panicking, not rushing, but playing quick. Yeah, as just in that little break there. So Jamie Munro sub back in. Juan Iguada's going to take a seat for the Hills. Bailey, the sharp shooter. Oh, and uh, they're going to call a legal screen. Uh, so trying to set a down screen there with Seth Chapman. I but think the ref was waiting to see if the shot went in. Because that could have counted had it gone in. Maybe the foul could have been after the shot. Didn't go in nonetheless. Hills ball. Just under a minute. Yeah, so Wilson Munro back on the court together. That's very deadly for this Hills team. And Ooh, back door. Baseline. Kissing it off the glass. Josh Morgan. Wow. Gliding his way. Plays the angle well. That's a tough finish. Tough as they get. Oh, and the flotation device is buoyant for Alex Bailey. The response. RSVP'd quick on that one. Yeah, both teams playing a bit of press action. That's really sped Ooh, up the pace of this game. Orsini in the corner. The kick out. The shooter rattles oh, out. Lucky. Gunderson. Hand off. 18 seconds. Shot clock is turned off. Final shot. 15 apiece. Fouls oh, at yeah. five Alex apiece. Bailey's going to fancy this one. I mean, who also do you want to take a shot? Gets the screen. Uh, Rejects the screen. Chapman. Tries to go all the way. Handy defense. Hill was four on the clock. And they go all the way. Gets it at the buzzer at the end of the quarter. That is an energy play. Hills bench is hype, and so is the commentary crew. And wow. Huh. What a play to end your half. I, can, quarter. I can confirm I am quite hyped too. I am quite hyped. Thanks. Oh, I can tell him your tonality, James. Oh, yeah, baby. 17 to 15 is a semi final action live from the Bankstown Bruins Basketball Stadium. The layer, they call it. But we've got Hills taking on the Central Coast. Garen, it seems like Hornets really switched the, flipped the switch there towards they the did. end of that quarter. Central Coast tried to go for the last shot. Maybe over-dribbled a little bit, not sure, but handsy defense, read the middle, clogged the paint well, and then had the handsy still. Leading to a transition layup right with about 0.2 seconds left. That's your energy momentum play for today for your Waratah League youth men. Semi final. Yeah, good way to sign off the quarter. That was a quarter that really went back and forth. And meanwhile, for the Crusaders, starting to get the lid off the basket. But they've, uh, for a team that is normally known for their three point shooting, they've really been getting some great looks in the paint. So you've got to keep working that. That also will um, open things up for your shooters. Any legal troubles, any issues, any problems, any havocs, go visit Carol and her day lawyers. All your problems are solved with one phone call. That is all. One phone call. Yeah, that whatever is you all. got. Carol and her day lawyers. Your official, your official sponsors of your Bankstown Bruins. Your Bankstown sponsors. 
and none other than soul sports sucking the soul out of sports and what? bringing the energy into the unique clothing designs and apparel go check out the unique clothing cl clothing apparel at soulsports.com yeah go give me some sweet chili chicken tender wrap at the bankstown bruins canteen as well now with a new electronic menu there that's you impressive go. garen full hd there you go. that's that's uber impressive so on the court to start for the crew Got Luke Dunlop seeing his first minutes of the afternoon. Uh, Walter's out there. We've got Wooler too, the Walter Wooler. There is another great law firm. Um, as well as Cody Wells, he's come back on. And we've got Jamal Schwab as well. So Fort Hills, we've got Saxon Orsini. We've got the one-two punch of Jamie Munro, Jarrett Wilson out there, Mitch Smith, and Josh Morgan. What team can generate stops? What team can generate a few stops? And getting a bit of a scoring one. It's been neck and neck so far. Yeah. That's not to take anything away from the defense as oh, well. Oh, absolutely. It's been, it's been high octane. I can't think of, I can't think of a better word than that. It's been hyped. Schwab of the catch and the shoot. Quick trigger. Very quick trigger. Mitch Smith fighting for that rebound. Now pushing the pace. Jamie Munro showing his European versatility. Step. Klein bounces off. Yeah, Jamie Munro is very hard to guard. I mean, very hard to guard. He's got the skills of a guard, but the body of a wing. Yeah. And the spirit of a hornet. Even better. Walter kind of pulls it back up, game, finds yeah. Wooler. Looking in the post now. Oh, crusading his way in the post. The game, anyway. but Wells cleans that one up. That's going to stay with the Crusaders. Full of water is a well that likes to rebound yeah. on the O boards, paying off persistence, aggressiveness yeah. in the right spots. Oh, we're going to be stack action here. Oh, and that pays off for the Walter. Huh. And one. Come come for the two-pointers, stay for the one. That one's on the house. He wanted a triple stack. Yeah. With a bit of maple syrup. Yeah. Hey. Two patties ain't enough. Oh, sorry, two pancakes ain't enough. Well, let's see if he gets the free throw Saxon for the third Orsini's stack. Saxon going to take a break now. He was incredible in that first quarter, Garen, really bringing the energy for the hills. And meanwhile, Moss back in. So Walter back off back ring. ring. But Wooler chases that one down, ends up with Mitch Smith. So can't control it. And how about Hills? Always trying to push the pace. Yeah, let's look at the defense. Central Coast set up with that. It's an early foul as the aggressive take. Side out of bounds, I believe. For yeah. your Hills Hornets. And Josh Morgan. Yeah, so interesting. Very versatile lineup for Hills out there. No real true center, but a lot of length in the likes of Mitch Smith, Josh Morgan as well. And this guy, Jamie Munro, on the step back. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh showcasing his arsenal. Big fella, sidestep, pure, string music. Walter, there's all oh, the finger rolly. Ha! Huh. Yeah, now available, talking about the stack before. Get your pork rock, pork finger rolly. It's beautiful by Walter. Moss, Ooh, the shake and bake. Up, finds the kick out, spotting up. That one's just off, but cleaning up the rebound. How about the effort? Garen from how, this Hills yeah. team. And how about the persistence, poise, patience, perseverance, Central Coast with the basketball. Trying to set it up on offense here. What can they generate? Oh, and almost Hansy. getting the steal there. Oh, but they're going to call that one. That is a steal. Jamie Munro applying pressure to Wells. Out of um, bounds. Yeah. Huh. Hills ball. Yeah, Crusaders got to look to stabilize a little bit. Some uh, sloppy possessions back to back. But uh, Walter has come out firing in this uh, third, oh, Moss second quarter. Feeding it off here. Morgan. Yes, yeah, skip pass. Jarrett Wilson trying to get a couple crossovers. Oh, and fumbling it out. See, that's the defensive energy. They need to bring the crew. Yeah, it's paying off. Get a bit more, uh, a lot more back cuts. Get a lot more off ball movement. Generate some back cuts. Get easy baskets. Mm. Score without the basketball. Um, Gunderson checks back into the game as well as the shop shooter. Go Alex check Bailey. out. Yeah, go check out the book. Scoring without the basketball featuring Jason Kidd. At your nearest uh, BBB store, better basketball uh, coaches. Yeah. His second book in his series, Garen, from his uh, first novel, Getting Timeouts When You Don't Have Any. That's my chance. Oh, sorry, yes. That is Jason Kidd. All right, there we go. It is, <laughs> it is, it is. It is. It cat. Heading up the court now, Hills, Jarrett Wilson. Oh, he's the got that in his bag, baby. But that one's off back ring. It's going for the rebound was Moss. Bodies everywhere. Ends up with Walter. Maybe a bit too early for oh, Coach's liking. Now Walter. 
Gets it in. Wells in the post. Oh, and they're going to call a charge. Darren, trying to make overseas calls, but there's always charges and fees that apply. Good instincts, good read on the charge. Hills again with a gritty play, leading to their possession. Yeah, maybe look for Jamal Shab on just on the other side there. He was open for three, and if you can get him shooting, he's been one of the most consistent scorers for this Crusaders team all oh, season has, long. Has he not been? Wow. Holding up on the wing, Josh Morgan. He's played very solid minutes. Ball fizzing around. Ends up with Moss. Moss. Ooh, almost banked it in. Oh, the Moss Foul magic. No luck there. Shout out to Moss Foul magic taking part this weekend. Oh, and big steps into the lane, striding through, but that one's just off. Referee indicates subs. And yes, we got none other than checking back in. For your heels, Hornets. You've done a great job as well. Yeah, Wani Guada. Mitch Smith's going to take a break. And the Hills Hornets fans, they show their appreciation for their superstar. Why not? And first minutes of the game, Josh Gillen, another fan favorite. And another another contestant for BNSW Mullet of the Year. Vote now on BNSW social media pages. Ethan Moss also checking out. Yeah, a lot of great mullets here. That's an interesting mullet. Unique. Josh Gillen swinging it across now in the corner. On the baseline, whips Wilson it out. finds Munro. But Munro, butterfingers on that one. Yeah, and coaches always emphasize, never want to make a pass midair because when you land, it's a travel. So, well, in that case, an out of bounds. So, look to be just patient, boys. Play off two feet, two feet in the paint. Yeah, and Coach Chris Olback for the crew, really appreciating that defensive energy. It's got to start with the stops. But uh, can the Crusaders generate offense here? They can with this man, Alex Bailey, with the midi. Oh, that is sensational. Smooth as Bailey's, Garen, that one. Alex Bailey, nice move. Smooth operation. Yeah. Not a lot of dribbles. If you can get your offense within three or less dribbles, you've done Wani your work. Guada, too strong, but finishes with the finesse right as well. Right place, right time. Wani Guada, activity on defense from the heels. Can they break the press? Central Coast, handsy Ooh, defense. And flying everywhere, coming out of nowhere to tip wow. that one out. Jared, Jared Wilson. Wilson. Wilson, Wilson, just Wilson. Just like that block before. Man. Like a tennis player trying to die for a ball and just hit it on the opposition's back net. Yeah, give I it guess. a big forehand there. So Walter going to inbound now. He's no options. Gets it over to Bailey. Oh, that one's reads almost the pass. picked off, but back with the crew now. Handsy defense from oh, the hills. Gets it right under the basket. Asleep. That's your KO freebie yeah. for Hayden Gunderson. Caught him sleeping for just a second. Didn't react. There was a bit of Scrambled offense. A lot of scrambled plays, James. Guada. Sort of like how you like back to eggs. work. I'm a poach guy. Oh, you're poached, though. Right? There we go. Jarrett Wilson on the Great spin move. Great effort on defense. Tough Ooh. spin move. Drawing contact, though. Maybe a bit too much contact, but coach not agreeing. Coach thinking that's more of a bailout. I'm not sure. We're not the officials. Shout out to the great officials for today's game. Speaking about eggs, actually, Garen, Jarrett Wilson really starting to boil. I'll tell you what. Um, one of the leading scorers for this Hills Hornets team all year. and um, could make the opposition's coach's blood boil, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Let's be confused as Coach Luke Boyle. And, uh, Too many up. boils now. Let's, let's get back to the Hills free throw. <laughs> yeah. Remember Suzanne Boyle? Saxon Orsini at the line. Correct. Connects the first one. And that second one is just off from Jarrett Wilson. I'm fighting for it. And yeah, and Josh Morgan cleans that one up. Wilson. After the great hustle from Wani Guada. Wani Guada gets it back. Wani Guada, oh. soft touch. Wani Guada, great finish. Yeah, Wani again. Goes up ferociously and just a little finesse touch. Love that from Wani Guada. Showing off his uh, full repertoire this afternoon. Um, uh, but yeah, Hills bodying up on defense. Getting called for the foul there. But don't mind that defensive energy. It's really been paying off. Um, so Wooler into the game. Alex Oh, no, Alex Bailey's not checking out. He's going to inbound it, but Jer oh, Gunderson's going to take a break. All good? Yeah, my, comp my, my brain was just processing a bit. You got your coffee in. You got I your did. Food. Great coffee here at Bankstown. Central Coast with the basketball now. 26-23. Still a neck-and-neck -neck game. Waller on Mid -range, the Mid-range, pull-up. Well, Great move with the O-ball. Clean up on all eight in the Central Coast district. Aya. Seth Great Chat move. Seth Chapman. So quality minutes despite not starting. But uh, we'll see if he can continue his duel with Wani Guada. That's been great in the last few minutes. 
Has it not been? Wow. Ball Almost off the Jamie toes. Monroe. Not an inch of breathing room. Trying to find space for the drive. The Instead corner. finds the shooter on the kick out. Oh, and ball volleyballing around. Ends up with Isaac Wooler. Wooler, can he find the lane runner in transition? To Walter. Hangs and bangs. Gets called for the foul. They're going to call that one, Karen, on Jarrett Wilson. And Jay Will. And Mitch Smith back into the action. As we're going to see... I think, oh, there we go. Yeah, Josh Morgan's going to come off for the Hills Hornets. Great Smith, spell by yeah. Josh Morgan. A couple of good bastards, um, but his defensive energy and rebounding was very much appreciated by Coach Terry Johnson. And Isaiah Walter at the line for two. Gets the first one to drop. I'd like to thank anyone tuning in, whether you're a Crusaders fan, Hills Hornets fan, or just a fan of quality basketball. I'm a fan of the Warrantar League, yeah. Yeah, fan of Warrantar League. Please check out all the other leagues available today also. You can rewatch the games and the streams on YouTube, on the BNSW YouTube channel, Waratah Wheelchair League, both Youth League Divisions 1 and 2. Waratah well, League. hustling, puts that one back up, but that's off Wilson. Oh, and throws it off the leg. Wooler, oh, Out geez. of bounds, sneaky. Huh. Covering every inch the of trickery. the court, both teams. What is it? The two percenters, the 50-50 players paying off. And it matters the most. It's win or go home, James. Yeah. 26 apiece yet again. 3,000 apiece yet again. Oh, equal, equal, equal. Isaiah Wal uh, Walter just going to take a break now. Subbing in for him. Uh, you know what? Uh, Hudson Bush back in the game. Also two feisty guards out there. And that one just going to go to Josh Gillen and the Hills Hornets. Yeah, so both teams running a press action, trying to force point guards to give it up early. See if they can break their press. And when they do, it's leading to turnovers. And it's leading to high defensive momentum plays. So, mm. It's all about controlling that energy in these finals games. Don't want the other team to get too much momentum. And that can start with defense more often than not. Mitch Smith got Waller on him. Oh, almost has his pocket Ooh, pick, but stays touch. with it. Ha! Agent Smith on a mission. Yeah. And how about the strength for Mitch Smith? He's a superb athlete. Schwab. Oh, Ooh. with his spin moves, gets called for the foul. Jamal. Sort of like your moves on the baseline, James. <laughs> not even close. The difference is he actually gets him in the basket. Oh, not back in your um in your youth league days, no? No, anyways, at the line at the line for two. Yeah, I was playing um Division Five Youth League for the Greenwich Goblins. And Jamal Schwab at the line connects on the first one. Pure form. No waste of motion. Yeah, so be able to connect on the second. Uh, there we go. We're all tied up. 28 apiece. Damn. So how about in this matchup, Garen? We've got four out of the five All-Star 5 team out the floor. And oh, unable sorry. to send the Morse code. Failed to send. Leading to a turnover. Just a bit of a miscommunication. But next play mindset always leads to good momentum plays on the defensive end. Yeah. So everyone besides... It does. Yeah. Shout out to Chris Dorba, the uh, initiator of that. Anyways. So looking to set the table. The Crusaders. They crucially need a basket now. They want to start edging in front. Take advantage of this momentum. Bush. What, guarded by Guada. Bailey now. Schwab getting into the paint. And blocked though. Return to sender. But Jamie Munro now out of the break. Oh, that one just mm. off by... Tries to take on the big fella. Good defense, good wall up. Or oh, Jamal. Transition triple, Jamal. All confidence, all class. Your all star five, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, Case and that point. leads to a timeout. Your Honor, I'd like to present my argument. Jamal. For the all star five. Oh, huh. Transition three, and look at the crew. They are fired up, and why shouldn't they be? We know Hamish Loader loves it. We know Muffy probably watching loves it. Shout out to Muffy Loader. If you're watching, wow. Yeah, you're channeling that Hamish Loader energy. They need that out there. And uh, yeah. they definitely are the Crusaders now edging in front. Of course, still very early days in this game. But you don't want to leave it too late, Garen. And you definitely don't want another team to get too much momentum. Because if you think the pressure's on coming from behind in the regular season, that turns up double, even triple. Even quadruple. I don't know what's I don't know what's above that in semi-finals basketball. Well, we were able to visit Central Coast a couple of weeks ago and had the privilege to James and 
Spent it at a nice Airbnb and we visited the Australian Reptile Park. Yeah. Not only that, the Norahead Lighthouse, the Gosford Regional Gallery, and our last, well, one of our last places we got to visit, and none other than the beaches, was the Walkabout Wildlife Sanctuary. So Central mm. Coast not only offers great basketball, but great scenery, and New South Wales country teams do also. So shout out to all the country teams participating this weekend in a there. beautiful, beautiful matchup yeah, here next at the Waratah weekend. Next time we're heading up, Gary and I are going to go check out the Wonderbine train station. There you smallest go. Tra smallest train station in New South Wales, but uh, go shuck some oysters How as small? well. How small? Did you bring a measuring tape and measure it out? Or? Oh yeah, there's, there's not even a platform. You just got to jump off the train. Oh wow, there you go. So the boys from the Central Coast looking to keep that momentum going. All stations to the grand final, but they don't want to go via... Hills Hornets District. We'll see who will take on the Mailand the Mustangs. Mustangs tomorrow at 3 p.m. Yeah, a few of the Mailand Mustangs players hanging around. They want to. They, they want the quick. They want the exclusive. So yeah, a bit of half court pressing action, trying to trap the Hills. Almost working. Trying to double team oh, and Moss it does. and Guso. Waller, defensive player of the year. Body on the floor. In quick. transition, Jamal the bounce pass, back. but the oh, read. Pocket and Jamal again. Your honor. Wow. This is an open and shut case for All-Star 5. Almost at the turnover. Sometimes you don't want to be too unselfish because that, that could lead to turnovers. But we're able to re-secure it. And yes, at the line yet again. Point in case. For two. Yeah, Jamal gu Schwab. Yeah, guilty of being one of the top players in NBA, in Youth League. But soon to be NBL 1 as well. Of course, Jamal plays across both leagues. So and Shout out to the coaching staff and Chris Allback and Nathan... Akamar Akamamoy. Yeah, Akamamoy. Pretty sure it's pretty that sure right, yeah. place for Newcastle. Or was it Akamamoy for Newcastle? Anyway, takes us in now. one 800 B N S W. We're forever learning the in answer. the world of basketball here in New South Wales. Oh, yeah, it's the, wi the line. wide world. For two. Oh, for his last. Yeah, and Jamal averaged 14 points per game this season, Garen. I mean, he's done so well, but... This is one of the many accolades this Central Coast Crusaders team it's not has. Not only his scoring, it's his energy. It's other things that maybe not show up on the box score. I'm or calling it now as well. Next season in NBL 1, Central Coast is going to be one of the teams to beat. Waller tips that one across. So, the, yeah, another chance at it here, the Central Coast Crusaders. Jamal hands that one off. Ooh, all the way. Ooh, good ball movement, but handsy defense from it's Hills. Too, too Moss now. Moss pulls that one back out. Wilson swinging it in the corner. The corner triple sizes it up. Ooh, oh, rattles just out. rattles out. That's so unlucky. But how about the shooter's touch? Jamie Munro, even his misses look good. Yeah, that was unlucky. Shooters always got to have hungry hands and be ready for shots in the corner when they're emphasizing connecting the dots on the perimeter and Ooh. passing the ball around. Shooters got to be ready in the corner. Bang, bang, play. Yeah, and Keanu Guring going to get his first minutes of the game. Former <coughs> North player now sitting up for the Hills Hornets in their deep, deep squad. Yeah, trying to experiment Swap. here. His coach, Terence Johnson, experimenting with it. Consulted with coach Robert Davison and Yopi Sawanta on just who to put for matchup reasons, and that's who they decided. And great use of minutes here, James. Former North player, like you said. Yeah. There you go. Stats Nuggets. Yeah. Fresh out the deep fryer. Taking a oh, break. Not oven baked? Uh, maybe, maybe air fried. There we go. Good right. middle ground. Seth Chapman takes a break for the Central Coast Crusaders. Luke Dunlop's back into the game. Big bad body. He's going to be tested straight away with Juan Iguada going to work. Swings it out in the corner. Mitch Smith loves the corners, but do not get much love back on that shot. Ooh, in Ooh, transition. Great, pass great look through. ahead. Vision goggles on display at your nearest spec savers. Great look ahead in transition. Yeah, Hudson Bush just slicing him up with his offense. Wow. So some really great highlight plays so far in this game, Garen. Well, crosses up the one-two step, the kick out this time. Back rim, rebound to the crew. Wooler ahead now. Bailey, full head of steam, uh, controls the ball, pulls up for that signature midi. That one's just off and... Wooler going to get the called back for... Contact. Yeah. yeah, they call it one of Jezelenko in AFL. Oh, they do? Oh. There you go. Shout out to the Swannies if they're playing tonight, only Swannies fans. As we've got... Nah. Leading to two free throws, bonus situation into effect. 28-34. One minute 40 exactly on the clock. Substitutions. Who we got checking in, James? Yeah, Isaiah Walter had a great spell in the first quarter and um, early in the second quarter. He's going to give Wooler a break. 
Sam Wooler, defensive great. player of the year, takes great a seat. Stint. And the ovation from the Seni Coast fans. Had a great stint out there, James. Good minutes. Mm. So on the line now for the Hills Hornets, Jamie Munro. And boy, Jamie Munro has had a ripper season, Garen. He's, uh, yeah, features in the NBL 1 squad and uh, he's tearing up youth league, averaging 17 points a game. Yeah, was able to develop a lot of experience in that NBL 1 squad. Players like Sean Montague were able to teach him a lot. And great coaching staff. As they swing the ball now, trying to connect the dots on the perimeter. Alex trying to Bailey. find the open guy. Yeah, down screens. Walter ends up with it. He's got a post-up situation. So time running out. Five seconds remaining on Ooh, the shot clock. the ball and finds him on the baseline. Great, great look. Yeah, good fundamental finish there by Luke Dunlop. Put that one in a handbook, ladies and gents. So that signature ball movement for Hills paying off at oh, the moment. Oh, Wani in the post finds the shooter, the decides to not shoot it and play the extra pass. Munro step back, sizes up, back rim, unlucky. Oh, thought he had it. Had that three, that three gun up early. Yeah. Jamal feeds it in, and why not go back to it? Why, why not? Why not? Especially with Luke Dunlop in the paint, just camping there. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Go at it. Not just Camby, he's got the fire going and everything. Roasting some marshmallows under the basket. Oh, and tight handles from Wilson. That eventually gets it across oh, Munro. Squatting up. Back but rim. Guada fighting for it. Got a foul called. Wonder which way this is going to go. I'll check it out, but I was just going to say, these are going to start falling eventually for Jamie Munro. So, credit to the Crusaders' defense. They've been closing out well, but can't get lazy on him. Yeah. As we're going to see Saxon Orsini back into the game. Yeah, just clarifying the call with the officials at the line. Yep, like you said, one for two. Yeah, Keanu He's been Gurin. another energy guy. He's just checked out now. Yeah, Saxon Orsini. Not sure uh, the camera is a high pixel rate enough to keep up with his speed. We've got great cameras and great camera people. So big shout out to all the officials. Here for BNSW, but yeah, yeah all Saxon the Orsini, all the people yeah, putting in the effort. Everybody's jogging. It looks like he's sprinting. So true. Juan Iguada. Can the uh, second one connect? As the Crusaders have an eight-point lead oh, with 25 seconds. Ring. Oh, but cleaning that one up. Shot clock is turned off. Wilson finds Munro. Smith in Shooter. the corner. Are they going to play it for the last shot? You would assume so, but when you're that open. Oh, unlucky again. A few unlucky rolls for Munro, but that one ends the up with O-board. Wilson. Wilson throwing his body around. Smith Nine slithering seconds through. amongst the trees. No contact. Referee signals crew basketball. Crusaders with 5.1 to operate. Plenty mm. of time. Coach is clarifying if he has a timeout. He does so, and he uses it. Yeah, and speaking, yeah, the, the defensive stops, they're accruing. Bit of wordplay there. It's sensational. Along, yeah. But yeah, got to finish it with the offensive rebound, but... Gonna give the Crusaders a lot of respect, a lot of credit. Fun for their fact: defense. What is a Crusader? If you can let us know, Ooh, let us it, know by half time. What is a Crusader? It is, I guess, like a knight, some kind of warrior that that normally travels though. You kind of crusade somewhere. It's like a very mobile soldier, I guess. Sort of old-fashioned term. A person who campaigns vigorously for a political, social, or religious change. A campaigner. Crusaders for early detection and treatment of mental illness. That's a different crusader, but the mm. first crusader, someone who just pushes along, just crusades their way through, just fights through yeah. the, the pain, the suffering, the all the endurance it takes in a game of basketball here in the Youth League matchup. For your yeah. Waratah League semi-finals playoff action. An the answer, winner takes on Maitland tomorrow, James. Yeah, and answer our poll now for any Central Coast fans out there. Are you a crusader, a rebel, or a wave? Ooh, ooh. Yes, there are the waves also who compete in the Waratah League uh, in the B pool or in the in the two the two pools that compete in there. Yeah. That just shows you how deep Waratah League is. Yeah, and how deep the talent is pools, on the yeah. Central Coast. And there are so many associations around New South Wales, just all around. It's about 40, 30, right. I kid you not. Yeah, we, you'll hear all of them at half time. No, not kidding. Gary will list them off the top of his head. Wilson, a curl action, four seconds, three seconds, pulls it up. From deep. Oh, he looks confident after that one. Wow, very tight game to start. We're at halftime here in the semifinals. Crusaders and Hornets. Hornets 30, Crusaders 38. Crusaders managed to edge in front there to about the last five minutes of that third quarter. So they'll head to the locker rooms feeling pretty confident. 
but Hills Hornets, they're showing good fight out there. Very unlucky with a lot of their shooting, Garen. But the good thing is, as I always say, they are getting open shots, so it's only yeah, a matter of time before they start falling. One thing Crusaders have done really well, they've become surgeons this game and dissected the defense at times. Yeah, pull out and scalpel. really found um, openings in that dunker spot. And you beat the press in transition, and you've got guys that are unfazed by defensive pressure. Being able to make plays like that is huge. Absolutely huge, James. It's huge. So at the half-time break, let's talk about the Central Coast Crusaders a little more. As I said, Garen, it's been that defensive energy, but um, a lot of their players stepping up. Jamal Schwab with a just massive few possessions in a row, getting that three-pointer, then heading it to the, th the free-throw line. Isaac Wooler, as you would expect, doing all those 50-50 plays very well, whether it's getting in the passing lane, slashing backdoor, doesn't need the ball a whole lot to score. Still getting himself in the score sheet a lot. So just when we get a chance, we'll get some halftime statistics for you. Garen, what are your thoughts on life? It's good. It's great. It's wonderful. Especially Nothing when it's better basketball right Christmas now, here. It's New South Wales basketball, basketball Christmas. Um, absolutely. As we have a look at some of the great teams playing this weekend. And yes, we had the Man of Ringless Eagles recently just take on the Maitland Mustangs. Mustangs walk away with the win, but in this action-packed weekend. Check out some wheelchair basketball. Waratah 2 Wheelchair League. Canberra Gunners. The Hills Hornets, none other than. Ah, oh, the Mountain Ringer Seagulls and the Central Coast Crusaders, yes, all in your Waratah 2 wheelchair squad. And then you have the Youth League squads, the Seagulls, the Bears, the Crusaders, the Comets, it's all there, everywhere. And, Garen, it's time for everyone's favourite segment. It's time for some stats nuggets. So, leading the way for Hills at the moment, Juan Iguada, seven points. Jamie Munro has got a handy six. Josh Morgan and Saxon Orsini off the bench combining for eight points. So good contributions all round. Bit of bridge spread scoring. Same as on both sides. Isaac Wooler, seven points. Jamal Schwab, six points as well. So really, could be anyone's game still. We're not just saying that to keep you tuned in here on YouTube or wherever you're watching this or if you're watching this on replay. Hello from the past. Yeah. Yeah, and so for the Hills Hornets, Garen... Their men's team in NBL 1 did very well this year. They got into the elimination finals, but were knocked out by a serious force in the Canberra Gunners, but really punched above their weight. Chemistry-wise, they were very good. And you know that with Hills, it's not just a deep squad in some divisions. They're a deep organization. Of course, their Waratah men will be playing later today, trying to defend their crown. Of course, champions last year. And, uh, yeah, we actually got to commentate that final. So, likes of your Jason Strongs, your Chapmans, our favourite Rob Merrick as well is going to be suiting up. Um, so, yeah, Hills Hornets. Action pack. Tune into that later today, your Hornets fans. But even their youth men doing a great job here, really flying the flag. So, yeah, plenty of talent pushing up through Hills. Youth women, not a great year. But I've got to say, you see a lot of those youth players for the women's team on the NBL1 squad as well. So, it's only a matter of time before they start to... Uh, blossom into our top talent because you know hills you know hills are deep and stay tuned for your youth two women's squad for your hornsby spiders they take action tomorrow and james who are they playing sorry hornsby spiders youth women too who are they playing tomorrow um they will be taking on the bankstown bruins who got a win on this court a little earlier today so but spiders versus bruins that's going to be a spicy one again two teams with our NBL1 squads that may be underachieved this year in the women's team, but we'd love to see that. If the senior program, like the top senior program's not doing well, if the youth program's still pushing up through, good days are ahead for your association. We've well, seen we that could potentially time after have. time. In the finals, you go your Paul McQuarrie for your Waratah men. Yeah, Paul Waratah McQuarrie men. Dolphins, led by the imports. You know who they are. We don't need to mention them. Hornsby Karinga Spiders, well coached. And shout out to the coach of the year, Jack Harvey. What an awesome done. His job. Hills Hornets, this team is resilient. The defending champs from last year, Strongy and the crew, Myrick. Coached again by Ari Rapport and assistant coach John. And then you've got the Canberra Gunners Academy. Led by players like Mitch Robinson, Abraham Riley, Jacob Saunders, as you remember. Jordan Hilda, Spencer Musgrove, and then head coach Reese Kay. Boy, what a game that will be. Go check it out. All streamed on YouTube, yes. 
And you want to look at the past Warata men's win as well as the Hills Hornets last year. The year before that was St. George Chains, who they faced against Hills Hornets in 2022. Obviously, due to um, COVID, there was no competition in 2020. But then the Canberra Gunners Academy took it out. Then it was St. George, the St. George Saints, then Bankstown, then Sydney Uni Lions back then. Then the Sozo Sharks, Hills Hornets, Sozo Sharks, and the Coffs Harbour Suns. Plenty of actions. Plenty of actions going on. So check them out tomorrow. That is on YouTube on the BNSW channel. And again, shout out to the partners Active Change, Allied Express, and Game Day. None of this will be possible for all your stats. Sports in New South Wales, the view of sports. And Savannah Pride. So we're back now. Um, big shout out to Bankstown Bruins. Great toilet facilities and great canteen as well. Put in some chips earlier. Pick up your merch as well. And Garen, you picked up some new shoes earlier today from the Bankstown Bruins Stadium. I did. I got the Aaron Gordon pair on special now for a 125 or 122, I believe. And a lot of other pairs. Yes, Spencer Dinwiddie and Aaron Gordon by a brand I did not know about till today called 360. 361. 361. So you can, go, you can do the 360 jam and just get that one little extra degree. Okay, I found it and we are back. That's why not. So shout out to the Aubrey Basketball Association. Shout out Ooh, to can I, can, I, can I try guess the try guess the what's it called mascots? Sure. Aubrey Wildcats? No, the yeah, Wildcats. Um, uh, Armadale Basketball Association. No, no idea. Ballina no Basketball Association. Bankstown, where we currently are at. The Bruins. There Batemans we go. Got that Bay one. Basketball Association. Bathurst Basketball Association. The Gold Miners. Yeah, the Gold Miners. Valley Basketball Association. Blacktown West Basketball Association. What? That is your storm. There's Blacktown and Blacktown West. The Blue Mountains Basketball Association. Cessnock Basketball Association. City of Sydney, your Comets. Coffs Harbour, your sons who are participating this week, Ben. The Cockburn. Cougars Basketball Association, who I was privileged to watch at the state champs recently. Man, this is like... A Dubbo Basketball Stadium, your Dubbo Rams. Good on your Rams. Uh, the Gloucester Basketball Association. Keep going with Gosford City Basketball Association. Yeah, the Goldburn Basketball Association, the other Bears. Then you've got Grafton, the Vikings. Griffith Basketball Association, your Hawkesbury Jets. Yeah. Hills, who are currently competing. Once we current our spiders, who will be competing tomorrow in the Youth Women 2 Finals, the Illawarra Hawks. Who doesn't love the Hawks? The Inveril yeah, Basketball Association, James. Sorry. Yeah, no, sorry. I was going to say, we do not have any Illawarra teams uh, in many of these comps. I know they're still killing it in wheelchair basketball. But Kempsey. Yeah. Kempsey Basketball Association. Kayama. Yes, Kayama. And their slogan is Kaima, standing tall and strong. Leighton Basketball Association, Lismore Basketball Association, Liverpool Basketball Association, Manly Warringah. There are so many. Milton, the Yuladala Basketball Association, Mossvale, Mudgee. Come on, come on. There's so many. Yeah, yeah there's, there's a lot, Garen. I mean, it's good. <laughs> Shoalhaven. And I just, I think it's so impressive that you can Kurindi. see, you can see words with your eyes and convert it into into speech. <laughs> So it's amazing. It's great. QB. Amazing. Orange. Ocean yeah, Shores. How do you do it? Yeah, the Orange Eagles. They're a great club. Wollandilly. Sutherland. Tummit. The Tummit Timberwolves. Wagga and, Wagga. And make sure you tune into Garen's um, uh, new radio show running from 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. on that Bankstown. that is all folks. Sorry, that's all the teams. Yeah, I no, it's on Bankstown it. Radio. Just filling in. Just filling in the, the night shift. Sorry, I went through every team. It just reads thing. things out. Hey, okay. Gary just good, reads out good, the dictionary. It's good to know how rich basketball is, it in, is. In, in New South Wales. There's Sorry. plenty of sides. You get to Folks at home, your ears must be just dead listening to my annoying voice. But we've got action. We've got 38, 30 James. Big half, yeah? Nah, small half. Small half, okay. Nah, tiny. I mean, it's only to make it through to the grand final. I mean, these teams have played, it was about 18, 20 rounds. Gone pound for pound. Now nah, they're fired up. I'm fired up. 20 is, is a lot. 20 weeks of basketball. 20 weeks of action. Not enough. Not enough. Not enough for me. Should be 25? I want all year round. I just don't want it to stop. No, no. Yep. 
play five year competitions, have a grand final in every fifth year. What do you reckon? Sure. Why not? Eight points in it at the moment. The Crusaders ahead just 38 to 30. But Hills Hornets show some great basketball in that first half. Who will take on the Maitland Mustangs in the Youth League Grand Final 2023? We'll find out now. Moss probing into the paint. Oh, the stepping pivot, through. The tough move. Back rim. Wells. I'm going to say, Cody Wells has been very important for the Crusaders. Yeah. Uh, I know uh, just providing that presence in the paint because Juan Inguada has been an absolute handful. But Wells, that's strong, that physicality, playing that dunker spot as well. Absolutely. And there's a lot of crafty players on both teams to be able to shot create, be able to get two feet in the paint. And Moss is one of them, but that's just good defense and read on the rebound. And mm. Bush really ran, the, re really ran the offense well in that first half for the Crusaders. Jamal swinging across now. Bailey, Schwab, over to Bush. Eight to operate. Six. Top of the key, three. Sure. Oh, like he hit rim there. Rim. Gets his own rebound. Bush. Plus slides to it out to Waller. Trying off. to get over to Bailey, but Reads hands it. in the cookie jar was Moss. Moss slithery. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, damn. The one-two yeah. skip to Malou for Moss. Yeah, bit nice of Moss style magic. And yes, they are competing this weekend. Yeah, time you go more country association shouted out. Alex Bailey calls for the Wells screen, uh, uses it, but they swarm him. Uh, blitzing action from Hills. Oh, oh, getting the nothing spots easy. Three for the big, but the he shorts it a little bit and they secure the rebound in Hornets. Yeah, Hills have just turned up that defensive pressure just a notch, and uh, that's paying off pretty early on. Uh, can get down to a six point lead? Two notches. Two, two notches, yeah. I'm going to three. Three notches on the baseline. Wine, he's trying to operate. Whips it There's out to the corner. Attention. Munro. Oh, Ooh, get on the big off a swab. Red. And red well. Oh, and the one hand pass into Wells, but a bit of chip grease on the fingers, and they're going to call the foul there. So on his way to the line. Uh, Sorry, I didn't catch that. What kind of grease was that? Chip grease. Chip grease. And up the line for two. Yeah, you get chippy fingers? Ah, from eating. You yeah, right. And Cody Wells on the line now. Yeah, holding down the paint very, very well. I've got to stop using well. Good and great. Got to be creative here. Outstanding. Exceptional. Exquisitely. Tremendously. Tremendously. Otherworldly. Is that, is that a word? Yeah, it's awesome. awesome. Wicked. Wicked. That was more like 2000s and 90s, though. And it misses the second one, but Isaac Waller, Defensive Player of the Year, showing us why. Bailey, dynamic scorer, but how about the defense? Wilson, Munro, tries to get the better of him, but trapped in the paint. Wilson, oh no, sorry, that is, who's on the floor down there? I think that's Munro. Putting his body on the line. Alex Bailey diving to the floor. I correct you. Oh, no. no it was Bailey for the, the, whole yeah, team, Bailey the, whole for the team. crew. Might have just chucked the whole right. team on there. Yeah, Everyone, that just shows you the grit. Everyone wants it. It's stick to It's determination. It's the will. It's, we're not going home. Match up. Six points yeah. in it. Separates the average teams from the great. Yep. Oh, and trapped on halfway. The defensive energy on both ends has been superb. Ooh, breaks the trap one. and finds the shooter. Oh, Mitch Smith hasn't been able to connect yet on those corner threes, but they'll get going eventually. Don't you worry about that. Bush now holding it up. He's got Wilson in front of him, tries to feed Wells, but that ends up with Smithy. Referee signaling. We'll find out. Who's going for the towel? Or well, maybe a warning to just yeah, not complain. Those hands in there. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. So, two, oh, sorry, six points in it at the moment. Hills Hornets stabilizing things here with choppy waters there in the second quarter, but they're coming down now in the third. Mortis, your official sponsors for your Hills Hornets jersey apparel. Yeah, Moitz. Moitz, apologies. If you want anything built like the best stadium in New South Wales basketball, go to Moitz, proud sponsor of the Hills Hornets. Munro, the shimmy shimmy wow, gets it over Moss. Moss with the spin Ooh, move. Slithery texture, but unable to get it. Bailey. This is Wells with a seal. Jamal pivoting. 
Oh, bodies flying on the ground, fighting for yes. it, and hands everywhere. Yeah, the crew just really trying to ram it in. But I uh, need to look for their shooters, maybe. Another late shot clock option here, Jamal. Kicks it out, late. Oh, Jamal, oh, can't get that one, it. but chases his own rebound. Second time he's done that, this quarter, Garen. On the ball now, Bailey. Seven to operate, Bailey back oh, rim. Back ring, and a third it. chance here. On Woola. the 14, reset, Woola. Oh, Wells, geez, just a bit of a lid on the ring at the moment for the Central Coast Crusaders, but sticking to it. Who wants it more? And clearly Central Coast do, after three O-boards. Third time is possibly the charm at the free throw line. Isaac Walter going to sub into the game for the Central Coast Crusaders. Had great spells in that first half. See if you can continue that now. Bush going to take a seat. But yeah, Garen, I mean, it's been hot and cold quarter so far for the Central Coast Crusaders. Just looking to force that pass inside a little too much. However, have been going to the line plenty. So it has been paying off to a certain extent. Yep. And that's paying off at the free throw line too. Maybe got to look to get a bit more general dribble penetration, look for the kickouts as opposed to trying to get into the big. However, I'm not a coach. I'm not even a commentator. I don't know who I am anymore. Rebound. 6.37 on the clock. Seven points in it. In transition are your Hornets. Wilson getting swarmed. Guada in control. Gets it out to Munro. Shows and goes. Two feet. Jump stop, Back finds the Wilson. kick out, the sidestep, triple. Oh, that one looks good, but just Bailey. a pretty off good Bailey. look at that in the corner, just, yeah, James. To Waller, handoff action, Schwab, asking for the well screen, slowing it down, but yeah, swarming the ball handles a lot, well. A little bit of a mismatch scenario, no, yeah, big at Mitch big. Smith. Mitch Smith is a strong dude, he really Holds is. his ground, Shot in off transition, his trying all to the way to the basket. Referee says, oh. Offensive? No. Referee says count the basket. Gliding his way to the strong. basket. I told yeah. you. He's been putting his time in at plus fitness 24-7. Major sponsor of the Bankstown Bruins. Wells going to take a break, but great spell from Wells. Well, he's been having his same old smoothies, and he's been getting the energy, and he's just all over the court. Defense, offense, both ends of the floor. Paying yeah, you off. You name it, he's doing it. So Mitch Smith at the line now. Can he make it three? He could not. And Alex Bailey's sculling for that rebound and setting up the offense immediately. He's got Guada in front of him. Chapman's checked back into the game for the Crusaders. Handoff action. Wooler. Oh, again, forcing that pass in the paint. One in transition. What can he find? Had the opportunity. Oh, and getting it back. Wooler. Got a few defender in his pocket now. Barging through and... They're going to count it. Whoa. I'm going to say, oh, Putting out they? the turbo jets. Draws contact. Absorbs contact. Gets it to go. Yeah. Bench is hype. And the bench behind them is hype too. A lot of crew fan. Yeah, the crew in the building made the trip down at the it's Pacific an Highway and beyond. Yeah, it's a long trip. Not as long as Maitland though. So again, thanks for anyone tuning in to this special YouTube stream for your basketball what a league. Uh, playoff action. I love this. Playoff love, and finals love, action. Let's, let's try and get this every week. Yeah, the youth league and Waratah can be underrated, but it's top-notch basketball. And yeah, both these teams are proving it. That one off the foot. The kick for touch. I agree with you. Let's do this every week, but it's hard to fund and manage and find people. And That's true. It's a good initiative, and it's a good incentive to build jobs in the community of sports. But We'd love to get it. Uh, hey, we're happy to commentate. I know you are, James, in a heartbeat. Munro holding it up. Like a dog when he sees a bone. So Wilson in the, in the corner. corner. Running a bit of triangle action here. Guada powering through. That one's off Wooler. It's another rebound. Crusaders, they're going to grab all momentum at the moment. They've definitely got the wind in their sails. Trying to find it in the post. Does so. Couple back down dribbles. The double splits it, kicks it out. Yeah. Slips out of the hands. Yeah, Bit Chapman too high. just couldn't connect with Wooler. So one ends up uh, with the Hills Hornets fans in the grandstand. Yeah. And what a great atmosphere we have in here today. Ecstatic energy. Thriller of a game. Yeah. A thriller in Bankstown. I don't know if that was a rhyme to it. One year. Top it of the key. Kick out. Wilson! Wow. Drills it. No worries, mate. 
Beautiful looking strike. I cannot read the scouting report. You've got to get out and Jared, Jared Wilson. No and a waste the... of motion. Out of bounds. Energy play. Hill's ball. Momentum is Hill's way. Yes. Only a matter of time till maybe coach want to change it up and call a timeout. We don't know, but hey. Yeah, what we Horn do know is it's 37-41. So. And the Hornets are buzzing now, Garen. The stops, the baskets. It's how they're building momentum at the moment. Can Wilson go again? Unselfish gives up to Mossy. Oh, and the Mossy Bop gets called for the travel. Mossy Bop? No. Is that, is that something I should know? I don't know. It is. Am I too old? Maybe I'm too old. You played, you played it in the car like a week ago. <laughs> Walter stripped there by Munro, but that's going to stay with the Crusaders. Crusaders ball. 37-41. Just a shade under 420 on the clock. Third quarter. Still plenty of time for either team to either maintain their lead or build some momentum in field of the Hills Hornets. Maybe possibly get a stop here. Keep communicating on the switches. Keep being handsy on defense. Yeah, they, they're listening to you. They have been handsy. Look at that. Almost forcing a turnover. They're well coached. Yeah, even, team. If, even if you don't get possession, though, those little tips, tricks, and things like that, they just put the other team out of their rhythm. It does. It forces um, them to reset their offense. Yeah, and start to second-guess themselves. This one has been second-guessing themselves. Chapman, Bailey, gets into the paint, two feet in the paint, and a foul called. Uh, both teams very peppy out there. Speaking of peppy, is Saxon Orsini... He's got a pep in his step. So that's, yeah, four fouls on uh, Moss. So he's going to take a seat. So on the line now, leading scorer, the most baskets this year in the Italy competition. Look at our man, Alex Bailey. Doing what he does best. Man, I, I want to see, see a backcourt of him and Luke Cassidy in NBL 1 next Ooh. year. Yeah. Let's hope, not. yeah. let's hope Hamish Loader's around for more seasons to come as well. Because, yeah, again, the Crusaders really knocking on the door two in NBL 1 and knocking the on the door AB. of the grand final in Youth League this year. That was with the ball. No, I was in the league. You, you call it off. Agent Smith, what can you operate? Yeah. In the corner now, Munro. Bodies flying everywhere and ends up with the Crusaders. There's that defensive e um, execution. This is the ball in transition. The European, oh, Ooh. almost at the European glides of the basket. But. Munro now. He's got Orsini in the corner, locked and loaded, takes his defender off the dribble. Munro shows and goes into the paint, loses control, but one in Glada there for the cleanup. Glada the bailout Smith, package. Yeah. Just had a bit of floor cleaning. A bit of floor and so you polish it up a little bit. It's nice. I like when referees call that. And I want to see that slip and slide action. Save that for Jamboree. That's saving an injury from someone getting injured. Yeah, someone's around the corner. Get your slip and slides out then. No, okay. No, I know what slip and slide. I, I know. I know. No, I'm, I'm not talking about that. No. Slide that out of bounds ball. Hornets 37. Crusaders, 43. Plenty of time. Let's just keep that, chemi keep that chemistry going, Garen. We're, we're trying here. It's been a, been a long day of finals. It has. We've had three games today. It's been a long It's been day. really intense. But hey, basketball is always intense when it's semifinals and matchups. The defensive pressure is always on. And shout out to the floor wipers. Your floor wipers doing an amazing job as always. And Garen, you're doing an amazing job as always. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't agree, but <laughs> we'll find good. out after the break. And a modest job too. Munro, shot clock winding down, uh, forces that one up. And oh. string diddly D for three. Munro. Huge possession. Munro. Yeah, shot that one from Lakemba, Garen. Shades of Earl away. on that one. Wow. Huh. Bailey. Yeah, the long defender Munro on him. It's been a bit of a headache of a matchup for the Crusaders. Schwab behind the back. And a foul called. Been a lot of fouls in this game. But that's what I expect. That's what you expect in a semi-final. Sports is entertaining. Yes, sports entertainment. Visit MKTG, your sports entertainment partners, for your World Tour League finals, playoffs. Yeah, and Keanu Guring back into the game. Uh, uh, Wilson just committing the foul, so I don't want to get him into too much trouble. He's going to take a seat. Heading to the line for your Central Coast Crusaders, Seth Chapman. With some quality minutes. Uh, yeah, obviously not the biggest team, the Central Coast Crusaders team, but 
there, Biggs really pull it away. We're talking about Wells, talking about Chapman as well. I mean, not a whole lot of depth there, but these guys really carry a big load. Couldn't agree more. As a second one, Klein bounce, good. Yeah, Crusaders now up by four, three minutes remaining in this third quarter. Hills yeah. after a previously electrifying play. Let's see what they can run. Munro looking to stay aggressive. Off and the backboard, and he does so. Munro back to back. And Garen, the Hills huh. are alive. And the sound of music is sounding good here at the Bankstown Bruins Stadium. Yeah, had that string music before and um, a bit of English pop there, kissing that one off the glass. Wooler going downhill. Oh, I thought he was fouled. But Fighting was for the it. The jump ball course, has been Garen, called. Of course, who is it? Saxon Feisty. Orsini. Of course. Of Feisty. course it was him. Who else? Huh. Tug of war at it. Man, a thorn in the side of Just making this sure there's team. no fights, nothing about to happen. And All is good. All is well. It's just two players going at it. Wooler, he's going to check out. What a sensational quarter he's had on both ends. Meanwhile, Hayden Gunderson, the gun. Back on. Providing a bit of shooting. Time out on the floor. Check your score. We'll have Central Coast baseline when we return. And this quarter has really gone back and forth, back and forth. Coming out of the halftime break, Hills really put on the clinic, but Crusaders managed to slow it down, get to the foul line a bit, get to the basket. Bit of good shooting as well. So now it's right on the balance. Two points in it. Hills 42, Crusaders 44. 30 seconds to go in this timeout. Garen, any reflections, any ruminations, any, any, well, any when they say When they say basketball is a game of runs, it is indeed. And you just got to channel your inner grit. Just take a couple uh, a couple breaths. Uh, one thing I taught my rep team last season when I was coaching is box breathing. And what Chris and I taught what? were box breathing is making sure in situations like this, you're calm. You're not being um, over panicked. You're just... You know, playing through your sets, playing mm. quick but not rushing your sets. So what? Uh, just a being zen. If you want, if you want putting like a box in your head and breathing. No, a box it's breathing. Box. So it's 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 essentially breathing four by four. So oh. breathing in, holding four seconds, letting out four seconds, oh, and that repeating sense. that four times. Oh, I like that. And it really helps. It, it gets oxygen to your brain, and it helps you concentrate better. Okay. Wow. And Garen, there's uh, rumors next it's year. It's a holistic approach to coaching that yeah, not a lot of coaches stepping use. Stepping up from uh, rep basketball to NBL one coaching staff. Can no, I I'm, I'm those rumors. I'm, I'm just a full time assistant coach. Yeah. Not really. Anyways, what are we talking about? The game is about to happen. Yeah. Forty two. Stack action ends up with Walter, but Wani Guada had his hands in the cookie jar there. Almost got away with it, but uh, that's going to stay with the Central Coast Crusaders. Again, similar action. Chance to reset the play. Gunderson. Ooh, going all the way on the kick out. Finds Chapman, it. the stutter step. Walter on the step back. Just off. Smith, too strong on that rebound. Munro looking for options ahead, but Chapman Ooh, managed to get in front of him. Over. Tight handles by Munro and the foul. Wow. Great move. Great ball handling responsibilities. Trying to always emphasize driving, getting body contact. It's not two feet in the paint or kicking out for the three. Is that the free throw line? Yes, yeah, so Chapman, what a bit of foul happens. trouble. So that's going to see Luke Dunlop back into the game. Another one of those bigs. Sorry, I forgot to mention him a little earlier. But yeah, safe as a house. Is a brick house? Yeah. Not in terms of shooting, but in terms of his style of play. Yeah. All right. I like yeah. it. And posting up now, Wani Guada. So yeah, Dunlop's going to have his hands Guada, stepping in. Referee says count at Wani Guada one more time. Second and one opportunity of the evening here, folks. Yeah. What a game we have on our hands. 44 apiece. 4-4, four, 4-4. Four, four, four. All tied up, Garen. All tied up. Welcome to the 44 club. And what type of tie is this? This is a Pat CU at the free throw line for a bonus of veggie spoon rolls. Okay. For Wani Guada. As the tie can no longer become one if it goes to 45 44, right? Yeah. yeah. That's beautiful. <laughs> I'm kind of hungry too. We'll save it till after the game because these players are even more hungry for the loose ball when they see it. Yeah, and hungry for that grand final spot on the line. Who will go to face the Maitland Mustangs? At the moment, it's not very clear. Pure. But, but Hornets go up by one. Minor advantage at the moment with two minutes remaining in the third quarter. What dos minutos for any of our Spanish viewers out there? C squared with the ball. Central Coast, Bailey that is. Gets a screen action from Gunderson. 
Over to Schwab now. Ooh. Walter. On the baseline, decides to go the other way. Unable to get it, just a bit too Janu. strong. Up to Mitch Smith, full headed Smith seam. Smith on a mission, drawing contact. Oh, Referee Mitch. signals too. Mitch Smith oh, throwing his body okay. into defenders there. Yeah, I hope he's okay. Man, he's, he's Iron Man. He's been eating his Nutri-Grain, Mitch Smith. Don't you reckon? Nutri-Grain gives you iron? Oh, it's like Iron Man food. Yeah, it is. And so is this man at the free throw line. Agent Smith on a mission as always. What a bright spot he's been tonight to go along with Wani. And some of the other yeah. players really chipping in. And Joe recently represented UCID and Australia um, on the 3v3 level at Mitch Smith. So a really versatile player, can really do it all. And I'm um, showing it here. You can play him big, small, guard. He can do it all. Swiss Army knife. And he can hit free throws. Why not? Add that on. Jack of all trades and master of being a Smith. With the ball here, Central Coast. Bailey probing into the pain. Why not? Finds the lane, finds the alley, splits the defense. Great you move. You can't contain him. You cannot contain Alex Bailey. But you can't stop him. But you're going to have to contain him a little bit. Munro. The pearl, Munro. Ooh. Ooh, almost had tipped out there. As secure as all point security. Your sponsors of your Central Coast Crusaders. Your secure Ooh, defense was on display there. Is Munro. What was Jamie Munro we're talking about? Yeah, don't want him getting injured. He's such an important part of this Hills Hornets team. And yeah. Not just offensively, but defensively. He's done a great job at containing the likes of players like Alex Bailey. Ooh, Munro. Nice bounce pass on the baseline. Beautiful play. Connects. Aya. Can I can I predict the future? No, can I'm I? sorry. I think I thought I did just then. You did. Oh yeah, you did. Yeah, I was giving Jamie Munro a big rap. Oh mind you, that's pretty easy. So anyway, Jamie Munro. On to the line now, Garen. Wow. Jamie Munro, what a sensational season. Unlucky to miss out on the All-Star 5. But um, that doesn't matter to him. He just wants to win the championship with his Hills Hornets. Youth League team. And, uh, yeah, just edging in front now with a little over a minute to go. Full court press action. Persists with Hills. And they're showing no signs of letting up. Ooh, and the referee says a bit too much contact. Five apiece at the foul situation, so it is bonus. Yeah, doesn't want his contact. Doesn't want, he just wants you to sign up. Doesn't want your contact details. None required. No, yeah. con no contacts required. At the free throw line yet again. Yeah, Jamal Schwab. Reliable as ever. Speaking of players who did make the All-Star 5 team, uh, quality, 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 and featured in the NBL 1 squad quite heavily, Jamal. So another star on the rise for this Crusaders team. String music on that second one. Uh, one point game at the moment. Hornets up 49 at 248. A little over 50 seconds and the turnover forced by Walter. He's going to try, try to push the pace on offense. Hands that one over to Bailey. Shout out to Nicole Bailey. Oh, and that one's into oh, Wells. Off the oh. backboard. Yeah, Wells can't, just can't quite connect. Saxon Orsini, unselfish. Hangs over Keanu Gearing. And that oh, one is gliding. good. His way to the basket. Where there's a will, there's a way. And there is 25 seconds on the clock. It will take away the quarter. Jamal. Oh, that one almost Ooh, picked off by Wani Guada. Yeah. Wells oh, cleans up the mess. Bailey Going always out, aggressive. Always Fighting a threat. Taps out. Oh, the olive oil on the ring, Garen. Some of these Central Coast shots have been very unlikely to drop out. He, you know, maybe it doesn't look like it on the stream, but they're just popping in and out. What's going on? Is there oil on the rings? Good timing on the couple tap-ins, but hey, free throws yet again, and personal foul number four. Be mindful. That's a line. The yeah. two. So yeah, and subs checking in. Smart yeah, move by the coach. If you're a Crusaders... Oh, hold up. Just quickly, we'll get on the subs. Checking in is uh, Patrick Nicholson. Fan fa oh, fan favorite. One in Guada. Tremendous effort. He'll take a seat. Well on break. For the Central Coast Crusaders, we've got Bailey on the line now. And Garen, he popped off for 27 points last week to advance through to the semifinals. In fact, Alex Bailey's averaging 22 points this season. And guess how many threes he's made this season? Too many. Yeah, that's right, 66. Which is uh, 66 more than you and I combined. That's 66 <laughs> in the 20-game sample size. And he might have missed a game or two, I don't know. But that's a lot. 
Yeah. That's about two or three a game. Munro with time running down and foul call. Oh. No, not getting out of That's one. about three, 3.2, 3 3.1 a game. Makes a game, yeah. If I did the mathematics correct, that'll lead you to about 66 on the season. Yeah, so given us many games. crafty scorer, Jamie Munro. If uh, can always get to the line at will. And, uh, yeah, trying to push his Hills team over the line. There's only one point in it at the moment, so make sure your Wi-Fi connection is strong at the moment if you're watching this at home. Pops it's out be on a that thriller. One. So it could potentially make it a two-point lead with 2.5 on the clock with 5,000 apiece to end the third quarter. Oh, that it is. one is good. And the long pass, the touchdown, oh, intercepted. Intercepts. Ooh, Heaves throws it, it the Ooh. length of the court and almost, yeah, almost had it. On line. At the end of the third quarter, these two teams can, almost can't be separated. Hills Hornets, 52. Central Coast Crusaders, 50. Strap yourselves in. This is going to be a thriller in Bankstown. It is, and possibly overtime the way this game's going. Back and forth. Yeah, back bring on overtime. Forth. Why not? Why not? Yeah, I, I want I want overtime, man. Actually, no, I got I gotta, I gotta go. I'm gonna go gig tonight. Anyway, no. we'll get to that after this. Big shout out to Sabrosa playing at the Botany View Hotel tonight. So one thirty. Not a lot of time for coaches to discuss what plays they want to change up. Keep at it. Keep pushing the pace. If there's gaps and there's holes in the defense, keep finding it. And yeah, the Central Coast. Defense has been on point. It's just been handsy. And as is Hills, they've responded. They've retaliated. So both teams have coached well and have played to this moment and have really led to this moment. It's, it's, playoffs. it's basketball at its best at the moment here at the Bankstown Basketball Stadium. The layer, some call it the birthplace of basketball in New South Wales. One of the oldest associ associations. 47 uh, years. We spoke to the cafe owner. She was saying 47 years they've been around. Yeah. Rich history in this Bankstown mm. Association. Yeah, and a new chapter being written in history at the moment. And you know who holds the record for most points in the Waratah League game? Jason Kiddy? Yes, Bankstown legend and junior Jason Kiddy, I believe. Boy, I don't yeah, know yeah. if that record's been broken since, but it was 62 or 63 points. Yeah. So Jason I mean, Kiddy holds yeah. that record. So if anyone wants wanted to come out and season. break it, just all you need to Man, do I'm pretty sure he broke the NBL1 record as well earlier this year. I was actually at that game against the Darwin Salties, and no, I'm not making that up. I actually was. Yeah, you were at that game. You were. That's on credit. I don't know. It's not often you I get to no, travel. No, no. James was at that game, everyone. Yeah, I want a medal for it. I'm like one of those city to surf people. I just want the medal. 52 50. Wow. Who can grapple momentum in the fourth quarter, James? It's yes. going to be tough. So out there for the Hornets, we got Orsini, Keanu Gehring, Smith, Nicholson, and rounding out their squad is Munro. Meanwhile, we've got Gunderson, Bailey, Wells, Jamal Schwab, and Isaac Walter. Isaiah, Isaiah Walter. Oh, I almost got all of them right. Right players taking the right shots. Smart plays, not turning the ball over. Taking care of the ball is going to be crucial. Defense, defense, defense. Here we go. The final quarter to decide who will be going through the grand final of Youth League 2023 in the men's competition. Walter wants his team to do it. Kicks that one out to Bailey. Well, Bailey can't unscrew the lid, but that one's back to... Obort secures. Reset 14 in the post, trying to find a kick out. Does so. Quick trigger. Rattles oh, out. Unlucky. I told you, man. There's Oliver on that ring. Some really Fancy unlucky defense, bounce defense, but the referee says Hills basketball. Well, Yeah, it's, it's frenetic here, and the crowd is really turning up the energy. Great to see so many Crusaders fans, including their uh, Youth League women's team, unfortunately went down earlier today. Munro, and that will go over the other way. Central Coast Crusaders, and join the crowd like that one, Garen. But also, big shout-out to the Hills fans. I've got to say, out of all the teams in the Sydney Basin... Hills Hornets probably have the biggest supporter base. I'm just guessing. They get big crowds out. There's a lot, yeah. There's a lot of people that live in the Hillshire district. Have nothing to do on a Saturday. Go support your NBL1 teams and they do so. Central Coast with the ball. Couple Walter. back down dribbles. The reverse. Oh, parked under the... Oh, and they're going to call that one an offensive foul. A little I chicken wing the, clear yeah, away. Maybe yeah, maybe a little chicken wing. Or a hook or... The wing ding, maybe. Interesting. And we got Hills ball. Shout out again to the officials, the score bench officials mm. and everyone And involved. persisting with the pressing action, the Crusaders, but Orsini, no worries there, gets that the into a big Nicholson. Pass. Nicholson with the hole in one, Garen. Yeah, we're not talking Phil either. 
Damn right. Walter. Over to the gun. Or oh, Mickelson, I believe. Anyways. Now is Schwab. Yeah, it still works. It still works. Saxon Orsini, elite defender, gets the turnover. Hands on the roll, not releasing. No, I'm not talking about the shoot shield grand final. It's probably going on at the moment. That's uh, wow. rugby on the basketball court out there. That's what coaches love. If you're not diving on loose balls and you're not showing the energy, the effort, the poise, then you realistically should not be on the court. It's about grit. It's about who wants them all. Don't just stand around. You see a loose yeah. ball, you're on that. Yeah, and you want it. It's like, a, ho right, like, like a hornet energy. on honey. Okay. I like it. Ball fizzing around. They're connecting the dots of the perimeter very well, the Hills Hornets. Deep three. Back rim, rebound the crew in transition. Walter Pushing wasting it. no time. Got a great handle for someone his size as well. So does this man, Jamal Sharp. Oh, thought, thought about the about step it. back. Trying to go for the handoff, fakes it, kills his dribble, but finds teammate. The gun. Over now. Deep three Ooh, from deep Wilson. Quick oh, sorry, not Wilson. Oh, Gunderson on the rebound. Oh, but the second it. chance. Have you got your tips in for the week? He has. Wow. Just by deadline time. Oh, wow. Players so, yeah, a bit, bit, bit of heat under the collar there. Huh. It's a feisty matchup, folks. Thanks for tuning in and what is going to be a great yeah, remainder of the that, 8 minutes, 14 seconds. Turn that pressure valve off. What's slow cooking here? We're not using pressure cookers. Let's relax a little bit. Yeah. Nice. But this game has been played in such a high competitive spirit. That's what you would expect in a semi-final action, especially when it's this close. And the defense chant goes up. The Crusaders on a mission, but Munro not face at all. Orsini over to Smith. Smith full at a gate. And they call a decision pending. Dun, 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 Let's see what they call, because it's interesting. Maybe the defense wasn't blocking. set. That is a blocking call. Referee signals a block on Gunderson at the line for two. We're talking last game about Jock McHugh getting a uh, getting contract with the uh, Manly Ringer Seagulls Rugby League team. But Mitch Smith, get him on the Parramatta Eels team. This guy's got a uh, got game. Yeah, there you go. He's big, Mitch Smith. Now nah, keep him in basketball. We like having him here. So Smith was in the All Star Five last year in Youth League. So yeah, hanging around one of the top talents. And um, featured very heavily for the Hills Hornets NBL 1 and uh, their playoff run this year. Of course, just snuck into the finals against uh, a lot of odds and Mitch Smith was a big part of that on both ends. Four points in it now. Puts his Hornets up. Jamal Schwab. Couple Screen crossovers. action from Gunderson. Uh, falling <laughs> over. Gets it out to Bailey. Yeah, good defensive pressure here by the Hills Hornets. Not allowing clean, clean dribbles here for the Crusaders. Spin cycle, trying to find Ooh. the pass in midair and doesn't succeed. Orsini. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, referee says that'll be a charge foul. Defense was set in time. Good read and good call. It looks like we're at a Bulldogs match here, Garen. Shoulders dropping and bodies on the floor. A lot of contact. Wow. Huh. These two sides want it. Oh, do they not? Wow, the energy has been ecstatic. Next level, it's been... Oh, and it's about to go expect. up a notch with Jarrett Wilson and Juan Iguata subbing back in for Hills. The hype man. Yeah, the so Keanu Goering's going to take a break. Meanwhile, at the four, the crew the got Hudson Bush back in, back on. And, and uh, yeah, Walter's going to take a break. Nice. Nice. And just clarifying a few mishaps and a few change-ups. Making sure it's a smooth transition here the last 7.41 with both players in the teams. Yeah, so Pelly, got to keep an eye out on number 10, Wilson, for the Hills Hornets. Spent a bit of time on the bench Ooh, there. A little bit, a bit of a high trouble. double. Yeah, a little bit of a high double action. Trying to get the ball out of the guard's hands. Forced the Bix to do some work inside. Yeah, not giving him an inch of space, this Hills Hornets team. On the mid-range pull-up, Jamal Schwab. Oh, Riding that one's just it. off. Munro. Skies for that rebound. We're going to take Gunderson on now. Tight handles. Okay, ball, handoff action. Orsini back to, back the to shooter. Smith. Smith on the spin cycle. Smith Kicks it on the out. floor again. And Has space to fire. Rattles it home. Big shot as he claps at the crowd and says, you know what, I'm a bucket getter. Smooth as Saxon. Body's flying everywhere and kept his head on and just elevated beautifully for that jump shot. Wow. Screen action from Wells. 
Swings across now. We see oh, and back to Duncan Wells. Spot. Oh, he's like, look what I found. Look, look what I found just here under the basket. It's two points. Where there's a Wells, there's a way around the basket. He gets it to go. Yeah, and that well has not dried up yet for the Crusaders. And uh, they're going to call that one a uh, Crusaders, the Crusaders ball. basketball. Yeah, they are hyped. The energy is there. And it's still a four-point game, folks. Grab your popcorn. Stay tuned. Wow. Yeah, grab, huh. some, grab some baklava. Grab a cold drink as well. Grab yourself some Baileys. Alex Bailey, you know he's going to pop off in this last little bit of the game. He's not going to let his Central Coast Crusaders team dip. It's only four points in it at the moment, 58 to 54. Yeah, but Karen, through with momentum here. Their yeah, ball. but with the, I mean, with the suffocating def Oh, just quick, quick time for a substitution. Why not? Let's have a little break. Josh Morgan back into the game for Hills. But, Garen, the suffocating defense by Hills, what can the crew do to break it out? Quick ball movement. Being less indecisive, zero second decisions, bang bang passes, connecting the dots around the perimeter. Oh, that'll and playing help. inside when you got the looks, like they did that last play, finding the big on the roll. Find him Ooh, again. And they have done it. Wells in traffic. And that one stalls one in Guada ends up with it. Mitch Smith with a huge offensive rebound uh, rebounding performance there. Wani. Can you be the fourth quarter man that the Hills Hornets desperately need? Yeah, dribble hand of action from Wani. Well, can it so be the defense of the Crusaders? Yeah, Wilson requests a screen, gets it. That one ends up on the wing. And uh, the basket Ooh. will count. And the kind bounce is good. Wow. Huh. Josh Morgan straight off the bench and back onto the score sheet. Morgan. Yeah, wow. Off the bench, off the baseline, drawing contact, leading to a timeout. 5-5-5 five, five, five is the clock. 60-54 is the score. What energy in this building. It is erupting both grandstands. Fans came and brought it there all, and so they should for the Waratah League playoff action. Yeah, let's check in with the momentum media. You've got to think it's just tipping towards the Hills Hornets at the moment. This, this momentum media is brought to you by On Fire Basketball, sponsor of the Bankstown Bruins here On at the Lair. Fire. But for the Crusaders, no need to panic at the moment. You're right, Garen. Got to look, maybe look to the inside because... Hills, a lot of face guarding, a lot of trying to get into the passing lanes around the perimeter. So, leaving it options open under the basket. This weekend is hosted at the Sutherland Sharks Basketball Stadium and the Bruins. Massive thank you to for both clubs hosting great yeah, weekend of basketball us. action. Spalding return to the game and GK Ultimate Active Wear. 2023 finals, Waratah League, action packed weekend. Boy, 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 boy what it has been, an acknowledgement of the country. Basketball New South Wales acknowledges traditional custodians of the country throughout New South Wales in their connection to the land, sea, community in which we gather, meet and play. We pay our respects to the elders, past, present, and, ex and extend respects to all Aboriginal, Torres Strait Islanders, peoples today. On the line now, Josh Morgan looking to push his Hornets team up to an eight-point lead. This, oh, no, sorry, it's an and one. My mistake. Seven yeah, you can see the flags in the back too. And the advance Australia fair. And that is an advanced way to shoot a free throw and string music on that one. Beautiful. Okay, so a bit of pressing action it resumes for Hills. So still suffocating and look good in the hands in the cookie jar. Wilson forces the turnover. Jeez, the Hornets really starting to get a full head of steam now, Garen. They are, and they're going for the gambles. They're going for the little tapaways, and it's paying off. And momentum is on their side now. Seven-point lead, 5.43. Yeah, but of course, gamble responsibly. Don't want to see Hills giving away some silly fouls. Uh, don't want to let the Crusaders work their way back into it. I mean, the Crusaders Finds playing great defense. In the corner. This is a big oh, shot. Oh, it went in, but the cleanup and the foul. And the referee says, count the basket for Agent Smith on a mission on his own. Yeah. Completes it, possibly, at the line for one. Yeah, here's an offensive rebound if you choose to accept it. I know it's a different movie. I know it is, but I don't really know Men in Black very well. Whew. On Walter. another level. Yeah, Walter's going to check in. And meanwhile, Bush going to take a break. Fans of Hills Hornets are loving it and just chirping away at it, so... The free throw is good. Oh, they got plenty of cheer on at the moment. They've now extended it to a 10-point lead. Crusaders got to solve this puzzle before it's too late. Wooler. Walter now looking for that handoff action. Gets it to Schwab. Trying to play it to the post, possibly, this play. The screen. In the Shooter. corner. Quick trigger. 
Oh, off front ring at Guada. Over to Smith, back to Guada. And how about Central, the handles yeah. from Wani? Yeah. Central Crest's real strength is pushing him in transition and they've struggled to get some half-court offense here these last few possessions mm. just due to the defensive nature of the Hills Hornets. So Wilson going baseline. Saxon or and that, that one, another out. one. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Jamal Schwab now. He's got Wilson in front of him, daring him to shoot. Pulls it back out. Oh, almost finds Wooler under the basket. And Saxon Orsini, the Energizer Bunny, Garen. Yeah. He can just go and go and go with Milo. Huh. Sorry, two shout-outs there. Not official sponsors. Oh, and a bit too much body on Wilson there. So don't want to let foul trouble get in the way because if Hills do stay in front... Don't just want to be working it towards that free throw line, taking the sting out of any kind of Crusaders run. So the crew, up to four fouls now, four team fouls, 10 points in it at the moment with 4.30 to go in the semi-final. Win or go home. Yep. Wilson, got Walter in front of him. Kicks that one across. Sizing it up now. Josh Morgan has it stripped by a DPOY Wooler. Kicking that one ahead. Bailey Ooh, throws that one up. Walter, excuse me. He just wow. dropped out of the roof for that one. Where did he come from, Garen? Where? From the caves of the Bankstown Bruins, I believe. On the handoff action, heels of the basketball. Saxon, Orsini, over to Wilson. Guada with the rebound. They swarm Andy Wilson. Defense. Eight to operate on the shot clock. One Wani in the sees post. an opening. Powers Wani through no it. contact, but now the referee signals up two shots for your Hornets. Yeah, as I was saying, Gary, don't want to let these fouls get out of hand. I love the old-fashioned bell here. It's just a side note at uh, Bankstown Bruins Stadium. So taking a seat, an excellent spell by Josh Morgan. So we're going to see... Oh, Joe Patmore into the game. And it's going to see Wani at the line for two. First one's good for Wani. Another one of these young prospects here in the youth league comps. Really dominating, really putting his name on the map here in the game, in the, in the, uh, in the world of New South Wales basketball is Wani. As he connects oh. on two big free throws, stretching it out to a 10-point lead with 3.50 on the clock. 3.50, yes. Ball moving it around. Now with Walter. Over to Schwab, takes his man off the dribble. Oh, just unlucky there. And with the tip back, cleaning up on aisle eight. That's Seth Chapman. Couple crossovers. Oh, and three signals a blocking Yeah, foul. so Defense bonus wasn't situation set. in effect. What is that? They're going to love this. So that's four fouls now. Yeah, defense on was maybe set in time. Tried to be aggressive. Tried to take away his driving lanes, but just a tad... Had a bit too late, leading to a blocking foul and leading to bonus a situation in effect. 66-58. Yeah, I think both teams are going to be whipping out their ice baths. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's, been, it's been a very physical game, but this is what you would expect in semifinals basketball. So Mitch Smith on the line again. Uh, he's been critical this game, and uh, especially this free throws, Garen, taking the sting out of the Crusaders. Oh, and gets that one to go. Stretching it out. Wooler controlling the ball now. Crusaders are going to have to go and go fast. They don't want this game getting out of their reach. Three minutes remaining. Hawk is not Schwab. their best friend. Schwab yeah. almost had it. Back rim, rebound, heels. Oh, and Mitch Smith fighting for it. Get on to Patmore. Being weary there in the foul, foul situation. Joey don't P want to a foul swings here. it across to Smithy. Yeah, don't want to commit a foul if you are. Central Coast Crusaders. Patmore, handoff to Orsini now. Ooh. Bailey right in his face, but Orsini is still in control. No Swings it over Guada. One is a sidestep. Oh, and Saxon Orsini Strong. just getting in there. No boards, leading to an O board by Hills, leading to a drive in the lane. Free throws. Wow. Smith yet again at the free throw line. Yeah. Boy, what a game. What an impact. Smith Chip just showing us every flavor out there, Garen. Keeping it crisp. No, oh, nice. Yeah, just looking to score on the crinkle cut there. So that's uh, five fouls. That's going to be a sub. Uh, that's going to be all we see of Seth Chapman today. Again, a very physical game. And uh, yeah, Seth Chapman, unlucky. So that's going to see Wells check back in. He's also contributed 
Uh, a good standard as well, Wells. Yeah, unfortunately, we do not get live stats here, so we can't give you the exact statistical uh, numbers on each player's points, rebounds, steals, turnovers, plus minus, efficiency, assist to turnover ratio, and all of that. So, oh, so sorry, Smith, folks. Smith but that wanted, one rolls to, wanted out. to ice the cake there. Still 11 points. Nothing's over. 247. Oh, it ain't over. And the second right. one's back rim. So two misses. You giving Central Coast some daylight. And Central Coast do have shooters. Wooler streaking ahead. Now it's Jamal Schwab. Now back. Now they find Wooler in the corner. Rattles that one's out. just off. Maybe been, too open. Haven't quite been able to get the threes to pop off yet. Central Ooh, Coast. The climb bounce almost went. Oh, the reverse clean up. Fighting for it. Oh, saves it. Wooler. Wow. Okay, they're going to have to go fast here, the Crusaders. Jeez, the ball was just fizzing around. Crusading and along, diving on the floor. He'll secure it. Defense Huge has defense been the name stop. of the game for the team from the Hills Shire. Huge. If Hills, can, if Hills can milk the clock, I was just about to say it, but they committed a foul. Bonus two free throws. I was going to say what Hills need to do is milk the clock and get a score. But when you get free throws, even better. Yeah, I think we're going to see a timeout from the Crusaders. So, yeah, some serious foul trouble for the Crusaders. This bonus situation, you don't want to be... You don't want to have the other team in the bonus when you're behind until it gets to that last part where you just want to send them to the line, stop the clock, try to get the turnovers. Garrett, put your coaching hat on just for a second. Put it in over your headset. Okay. What do you, what do you think Central Coast has got to do? Try to salvage this game. Making Which sure you get zone. stops... Personally, uh, not committing fouls. You don't want to commit fouls and put them in a bonus situation. And when you do get rebounds, it's got to be early kick aheads, leak aheads, and threes. Threes are probably your best options on driving kicks or, or quick kick aheads, but it's mm. it's tough. I mean, it's very easier said than done. And um, they're coaching this team for a reason, and he's got the strategies on the clipboard. Yeah, you would have run through these scenarios. Maybe sets, not. Maybe not yeah. this one specifically. Yeah. If there's two ten left in a semi-final against Hills, this is what we're going to run. No, but I mean, it's your last minute. How you can get a quick basket. All right, yeah, the, the, the Crusaders firing up. Meanwhile, for Hills, Garen, it's all about safety. Always safety first. Just Take care of the ball. Don't turn it over. Yeah, just Milk the clock. Yeah, That's the best thing for them to do, milk the clock. And if Crusaders want to play the fouling game, you play the fouling game and you make your free throws and you ice the game at the free throw line. Yeah. And who else would you want on the free throw line besides this man, Jarrett Wilson? Shooters in the building, shooters on the loose, shooters on the free throw line right there. Yeah. For once, we didn't... Or, uh, yeah, we didn't, yeah, we didn't we jinx, we jinx Yeah. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks, Jarrett Wilson just broke the curse. See if he... See if he's the second one. Ah, oh, the curse is back! Okay, they're going to have to go fast here. The Central Coast Crusade has been saying that for the last few possessions, but running out of time with Hills still edging their score up. Ten points in it at the moment. Being quick with it on the baseline. The float game, very strong. Yeah, we've seen William Mogg on the floor for the Crusaders. He's a great shooter. Uh, getting first minutes of the afternoon. And Wani Guada on the floor. Jeez, oh, close your eyes. Uh, sorry, blow your eyes a little bit sometimes. This really has looked like a footy match. It's been intense back-to-back -back ba battles of the youth league. Finals, semi-finals. Previously had Maitland and Manly. The m ms going at it. And Maitland was the winner of that one from the Federation Stadium to the Bankstown Bruins District. Getting away with the win. They'll be playing tomorrow. Possibly, I don't want to say just yet. We're not calling it, but either Hornets or Crusaders. Yeah, so Plenty the winner of, of this game, yeah, will advance through. That game, of course, will be over in Sutherland. So tune in or get out to the game. Bookie Hughes now online. Saxon Orsini looking to book their place Ooh, in the grand final. Rising up and a little soft tuck in and finish. And he does. Mog. Just tucks it in a little bit. And Central Coast with the hand ball. Off action. Bailey, deep three. Very off deep. Off front ring. Fighting for that one. Wani Guada just keeps it in. Hands it over to Smith. Smith kick ahead now. Oh, Wilson pulls that one up. Too quick for my liking. When you're up 12, hold the ball and milk the clock. Mog pulls up for three. Do you agree, James? Oh, I told you. There's something. There's yeah. olive oil in this ring for the Crusaders. Been One super unlucky. The rebound. Are they going to play the fouling game? They decide to go for the double, trying to get it over half court. Pat, and Pat that's Moore. sorry, no. Referee signals oh. eight second violation. Wow. All right. The violation was eight seconds. I've been talking about well. men in black a lot, but maybe a Mission Impossible could be on right now. 
did the Central yeah, Coast not, Crusaders. I'm not a fan of that movie, so. I mean, I haven't honest. watched it. I, just, no, I haven't, just I haven't watched it either, yeah. I haven't, uh, to be honest, I haven't watched it. But anyways, back in action. Here we go, Alex Bailey. Back to the inbounder, Walter. Jack's a three up, off back ring. Uh, yeah. Skying for the rebound again is Mitch Smith. I don't know if Sazed guessed that Mitch Smith has definitely got a double double in this game. Yeah, I feel like they've just struggled to hit the perimeter shot this game in Central Coast and just play to your strengths. But credit to Hill's defense. From the get-go, they've been persistent at it. They've been really sticking to their principles, their defensive principles coach has been honing on all training session leading up to this point. And again, a shout-out to the coaches, both coaches, who have done a great job to lead their teams to this scenario. Mm. So another trip to the line for Mitch Smith, looking at to uh, ice this one. I think are going to be hitting the ice baths hard after this game. What a quality semi-final we've had from both teams. Well, so we're going to get a timeout here from the Crusaders after the make. So two for two for Mitch Smith. Great looking stroke. Possibly the icing. Yeah, what has been a very say, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful weekend of basketball action. And it ain't over yet. So if you do want to tune in to the Youth League Men's Grand Final, it's going to be at 3 o'clock. Tomorrow, Waratah men's will be at 3.30, but uh, there's semi have and gone, gone down. So if you're around Sutherland, why not uh, pop in, check out that Waratah action this afternoon. In the Youth Women's Grand Final, we're going to have Norths taking on Manly Ringo. That'll be at 9 o'clock, so tune in or uh, come to the game. We're going to be commentating that one, so what a privilege. And uh, meanwhile, we're going to see either Hills or Central Coast taking on... Uh, the last year's grand finalists, the Maitland Mustangs, that's, what ahead, that's what's ahead of either of these teams. I mean, if you thought this game's going to be bruising, taking on the Mustangs is very difficult. Oh, Their yeah. championship pedigree. Oh, yeah. So still hanging in there, the Central Coast Crusaders going out there with Mog, Walter, Schwab, Bailey, and Wooler. It's a short lineup, but got to put your shooters out there. Got to. You got to risk it all now. It's a minute, not a whole lot of time. 58-72. Mm. Let's see what Central Coast do yeah. on a site out of bounds. You see, uh, Coach, Coach of Maitland Mustangs, Callum Wade, just uh, see, seen everything. He's all right, let's go get some sleep, prepare for our opposition tomorrow. Wooler oh, staying options. aggressive Ooh. and won. All right, all right, all right. Isaac Wooler, the woolly mammoth, just not giving up, not going extinct yet. Nice. He's going to head to That's the line. Point. I know I've said it a hundred times already, but Defensive Player of the Year. But showing he can do it on both ends. If there's a wall, there is a way. And it gets that one to drop. 11 points in it at the moment. One stop. That's all they need for your Central Crest Crusaders. That's oh. all they need. The referee says offensive violation. and there is your stop. Yeah, they're going to call that one on Patmore. And there is your stop. Wow, fans don't leave just yet. I've seen crazier things in the game of basketball. Yeah. Do not leave your seats. Do not turn off your TV sets. Yeah, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Well, if you're watching this on replay, thanks a lot. So can the Crusaders yeah. make it happen? Walter, he's going to charge in. Not giving up any threes here. A lot of help. Quick trigger. Oh, that one off front ring. Trying to fight by, for it. And any that one cleaned up by Wilson. It's been all over the court this afternoon Whips for Hills. The to one one the lot of action, and they're going to go for the foul game, and I believe... Yeah, Bailey hustling him on defense, but no fouls. Wani, oh, oh, the cleanup up Excuse tip me. Oh, Joe wow. Patmore just came out of huh. nowhere to put that one back. Wow. JP, justice of the peace. Flying out of nowhere for the tip dunk to solidify the finish and what was being a great game, folks. Energy ecstatic check. Yeah, that's the ribbon on top. Wow. So, well, they wanted subs, but we're going to have a chance to empty the bench. The crew, Walter, over in the corner. Mog. That one's off. And uh, all right. So, Karen, you've got to think that's all she wrote. So, we're heading towards a Maitland Mustangs. Central Coast, oh sorry, Hills Hornets Grand yep. Final. But you've got to say, Central Coast Crusaders, an incredible season and plenty of this talent. Next year, you're going to see them step up even more in NBL 1 action. Now the substitutions have a time to check in. Yeah, Dylan Tia. Checking out Isaac Ola. 
Yeah, Isaac Wooler, incredible season. What a great job they've done at Central Coast. Again, the men's program developing such a great team. Yeah. Unfortunate to be able to not get the win here, but again, all the best, and what a great job the Hills Hornets Man, have done. I'm, I'm telling you now, the NBL 1 Crusaders is going to make finals in both competitions next year. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. So playing it till the end, Walter not giving this one up. Jamal Schwab, that one's off back ring, a rebound by Patmore. Joey P. Dribbling up the clock. Mwani. Still press action. Don't no fouls. Oh. Yeah, and a bit overzealousness leading to free throws yeah, for one. It's, it's it's a bit of a head scratching situation. Yeah. Why extend the lead it. more? I, can, I know the principle. Yeah. Don't give up on the game, but three three seconds remaining. This one uh, will go to the Hills Hornets. So Hills. Get uh, the first team through to a grand final. Of course, the Hills Waratah men, uh, they're going to be playing over at Sutherland, uh, tipping off, I think, at 6 or 6.30. So make sure you tune into that. That'll be on YouTube as well. Or at Sutherland if you're in the area. See if Jay Strong go back to back. Wani Guada gets it to go. Dribble out the clock. 77-61. That's all they wrote here for the uh, Youth League men's semifinal for the Waratah League semis. The and Hills Hornets, Hornets advance to the grand final. Congratulations to them, but also congratulations to the Central Coast Crusaders. They both gave us a thrilling match, Garen. That was super high energy, very intense. Both teams very competitive, but great sportsmanship on display now as the teams shake hands. Nothing but mutual respect between both Absolutely. of them. Absolutely. What a Why contest. Not? What a display of basketball. It's just grit, grind, determination, will, poise, perseverance, all displayed in one game, oh. all in a 40-minute action. And you know who walked away with the win? It was Hornets. They just wanted a little bit more and made the right plays when it mattered down the stretch. That is what we have for you today. That'll be Garen Cordian. And alongside me, as always, is my co-commentator, the politician, James Milan. Still plenty of action to... Still plenty of action to come. Got a quick did you? <laughs> still plenty of... And shout out to Washington Basketball, doing a great job. Yeah, Washington nice. Basketball, yeah. Yeah. yeah and some of the best, best dressed people here. Based Anyways, we'll Station. catch you tomorrow. But yeah, no, for we, the got, we got plenty more action. Stay tuned. Um, Waratah men's uh, coming up and Waratah women's, yeah, um, uh, coming up on YouTube. Follow the live stream. And tomorrow, of course, we've got Grand Final Day at Sutherland Shark Stadium. So tune into that either online or head out to the Shark Tank. We'll see you there. See you there. Garen James, we are out.